Oh, it's all going to be melodramatic this morning. I always laugh at those little titles. I always think, oh, is that the theme of the show? Melodrama. Uh, good morning. My name is Fee. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. It is Wa -wa 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 Wednesday's Wall of Fame. Yes, the voice is still here. It was a bit croaky yesterday after the uh, the weekend celebrations. Uh, you know, the other half was uh, the big 4-0. Uh, there is a picture on the Facebook page. I'm still trying to load up the Spice Girls, but I haven't loaded my pictures up yet. So, uh, but I'm there in the background, waving, standing next to Buzz Lightyear. So uh, check it out. Go on the page and say and say hello, and you like it. I'm definitely. I want to get over a thousand. It's no good that Lynn Jinx and Scott Walsfold coming over here and trying to get their Facebook page up to it. I want to be over a thousand now. Oh, we were going on it last night. I wasn't sure how to how, how you. Well, obviously it's me, so I couldn't do it myself. But I was trying to get my sister to do it. I didn't know how to. How do, you, how do you do the like thing? Maybe she already likes me, I don't know. She do. If she already likes me, does that mean she can't like me again? Yeah. Well, that, that's probably why. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, someone will have to explain it to me. Good morning, anyway, I'll stop whispering on. We'll find out today who is the winner for our Wall of Fame. Who am I talking to? Who's the mystery guest in the corner? Am I just talking to, you know, nobody over there? It is the lovely Lou. Hello, Lou. Hello. Here she is. <laughs> uh, the lovely Louise uh, is with me today. And, um, we have got lots of surprises in store. Um, she's got three brand new kits, three brand new kits, and uh, we've got a little twist on the challenge today, mm -hmm. which I'll explain in a mo. Um, and um, yes, how are you doing? I'm good. You yeah, okay? a lot better than last week. I was on last week and I could hardly talk myself. Oh, you, so as I'm well. a lot better. Yeah. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's one of I'll tell things. you what, it's running right through the building. <laughs> yeah. Um, been going around our house for yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody asked me, you know, was it because of, you know, when I came back from Panto, I was, I was as fit as a fiddle during Panto. Came back, did two days here, <laughs> couldn't talk. <laughs> but I think something in the air con, I really do. I really do. So anyway, we're, 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 we're hopefully we're all I'm on the men now. now. Yeah. Yes. I got through yesterday, so I think I'm all right. I'll just be a bit croaky. Now, we have got an early bird special straight away, which, um, and now Louise will uh, give testament to this, it goes with definitely two of the new kits today. Um, and uh, it's an absolute cork. I don't, I don't think I even need my board, but I'm going to get my board out anyway. It's, look at the size of these. Look at those, I know, look at those bad boys. They are huge. Seriously, you could do some wonderful wire wrapping with those. So whether you want to use them as pendants or just, you know, just having a few giant chunky pieces in an asymmetric design, aren't they fabulous? The size of them. They're massive, aren't they? So this is the early bird special, and what I love about it is, you know, those big um, pendant strands. You know, when I did the show last week, we probably had about two strands. I think the show before that, I didn't have any. You know, unless you get a pendant in a kit, or unless we do the pendants, and it's been a while since we had a little pack of three pendants, isn't it? This is 1,720 carats, and ostensibly, you've got eight pendants here, haven't you? eight pendants, approximately, because uh, L Louise will know as well, Lou will know that um, sometimes you get nine that are smaller, you know, so, so don't be alarmed, but what we can guarantee you is approximately 1,720 carats of black agate. Aren't they fabulous? You know, some you may see the little sort of banding, or so this, on this one, for instance, we've got some lovely mottled sort of speckled patterns. You know, they're not always necessarily uniformly black, but you will get that. That's the, will be the predominant colour. They are faceted. It's got that wonderful luster. I quite like that, actually. It's like a bit like snowflake obsidian. Yeah, so you might get some banding. You might get some striations in there. Beautiful though, aren't they? And uh, when we were with, who was I with the other day? Got, I've got real, um, can't remember anything of these days at the moment. Who was I with? Who was my guest designer the other day, Louis? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, this is terrible. Well, I was with you the other day. Friday, yeah. Who? B. It was B, yes, that's why I don't remember, because B it was her first time. Yes, of course it was. Oh, B's going to kill me now. But what I loved about it was we were doing these, um, the, the little silver head pins, and she was showing us how to create, like, little hearts and then stick them on, like, sort of larger pen and just, just kind of create little swirls out of little silver bits. And I just thought, beautiful. So I thought that was really nice to do on the top. Yeah, B, lovely B. Sorry, B, she'll kill me. Um, there we go. So, uh, these are fantastic and they go with, uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, revisit on a kit that we've had. They definitely go with two. I mean, you could actually put it with the second new kit of the day as well. It's just that I'm just thinking of the colours, really. We've got one that's very sort of monochromatic lead, one that's got uh, some fire agate in it. 
I mean, to be honest, those big black gemstones, they just go with everything, don't they? There's, there's no way that they, they, they don't. I've got some fantastic, um, beautiful gems still to come that this is going to look great with. I mean, let's just get a bit of red in some of the new pieces in today's show. Look at these. Come on in, start your order early. There's so much to see on today's show that's going to look fantastic. Everything would go with these as well. They're a great staple. And they're just great, you know, even if you're thinking, well, I, I don't need a pendant right now, but, you know, there will come a time if you want to create some tassel. I've got, this is another new jasper, and we've got a coral uh, three-strand pack as well to come in today's show. I mean, look how fantastic that is against that black backdrop. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really works well in terms of those colours. So there's a lot on today's show that would look uh, fantastic. What price point would you think for that sort of carrot weight? Over 1,700 carats. It's quite mighty, isn't it? Quite mighty indeed. 12.95. That's where we're going. I'd have actually thought at least 15 because 1,720 carats. So if, say, if we get six. Well, sorry, eight. So two. I can't count this morning. Six, eight. Eight into twelve ninety-five. So you're not even. Oh, can anybody do the maths this morning? Is anybody quick enough? A pound fifty. Not that. That would make twelve pounds, wouldn't it? One pound fifty would make twelve pounds, wouldn't it? So per pendant. So each one. It's beautiful, isn't it? One pound sixty-one. If you had eight in there, like I said, you might get nine. You might get seven that are really even bigger. But uh, one pound sixty-one each. So those beautiful, beautiful large pendants. It's proven very popular. Start your order this morning. Anything you purchase with us today, it's one p and p all day. One postage and packaging price all day. And that number at the bottom of the screen, and it's important to say this because uh, I was very aware of this yesterday on Gems TV, you know, and I know regulars forgive us when we repeat ourselves, you know, because there's a lot of new people that watch and they look at, you know, the program as a whole and they've just tuned in or switched on onto Freeview and they you know, channel 43, aren't we? Nine till one. Um, that number at the bottom of the screen is a free phone number. And when you ring it, you know, you are ringing our own call centre here in the building. And anybody who's visited the courses and, you know, booked up for Lou's um, wire work or Cherry's bead work or Sculpey Clay with Debbie or the Rocks Academy with myself and Scott will have actually walked through the building, seen the call centre, met, you know, a lot of the uh, call centre um, operatives that, you know, answer the calls and said hi and seen all the offices and seen the studios. So we're all in the house to keep it very sort of well, being able to control and also being able to keep in touch with your needs and also, you know, make it that personal touch. You know you're dealing with jewellery maker and uh, James TV Towers as a whole. So never be alarmed. Everybody was a new buyer once upon a time, including Lou, including myself. You know, if you're watching a shopping telly, you might be thinking, well, what, how can I, you know, is, is, can I trust it? Well, yes, you can, because you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. Now that guarantees you your money back if you're not entirely satisfied with this purchase. It's one p p all day and it's not a credit note and it's not like, oh, we'll argue, you know, until the cows come home because we don't want really to give you the money back if you're not satisfied. It is a money back guarantee if you're not 100% satisfied with your purchase. So at 12.95, feel reassured in your purchase, have a look at the quality and take that leap with Jewelry Maker. Quarter the stock's already gone, so that'll be regulars and web buyers on www.jewelrymaker.tv. And uh, we've got the Facebook family, and uh, you know, it's one of the biggest families on Facebook for people sharing ideas on, on the just putting the jewelry maker. And you'll see our little sort of rainbow logo there. And uh, you know, the presenters have our own Facebook pages. Not that I'm much help, but I do like a bit of a gas and a gossip, really. And, uh, you know, so, yeah, just go on there and you'll often have a lot of our guest designers on there helping with questions and queries. So remember as well, you can text in Lou today uh, anything you need to know if you just want to say hi. All righty. I'm going to do a kit so that new jewellery makers can really get involved today. And uh, I think it looks beautiful with the new kit. Well, it's not a new kit. It's been on before, but it's new to my eyes. And what's Antique Fair? I thought I was going to call it Fire in the Sky. Can I just show you why, if I put those there, the black background doesn't help you, but look how beautiful it looks with the three gemstone strands. Just goes to show you, you know, how versatile this black agate strand really is. You can barely see it, can you? Because it's so dark. Let me put it on my hand. 
There we go. Look at that for lovely jubbliness. Isn't that beautiful? Just an idea. I'll keep that with me because I just think that's such a cracking strand and we haven't got any pendants today. So apart from one in a cheeky kit. Antique fair. All the fun of the fair. And it's a but that is, can I just, while we're just there, I've got a new strand today as well that is fire agate. That if I just put this in, see what you think, Lucy, what do you think that goes? Wucha ma Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that definitely works. I know, isn't that lovely? <laughs> That's a new strand today. And what do you think that rocks? You know, yeah, the Dark Lord likes that. That is beautiful, isn't it? So that's a new strand coming up today. So please be ready to uh, snap up that fire agate. But well, we've got a great offer on the kit. Excuse me. <coughs> I do apologise, everybody. We've got the uh, red impression jasper. Uh, the puffy coins. They are 25 millimetres. They're two and a half uh, centimetres across. That's all right, darling. Uh, we've got the red fire agate faceted rounds. These are these beautiful ones in all those different colours. You know, it's almost like the coal started to cool down and you get the whiteness and then you get the pinkness. And then you've got the red Chinese jade puffy ovals. So these are the three strands. 210 carats of the puffy ovals, um, 90 carats of the red agate, and 460 carats. It's a bit like the imperial. Let's just get that off the bus there. It's a bit like the imperial, Jasper, you know, in terms of the... The patterns, not dissimilar, but it's more of a, um, <clears throat> I do apologise, it's more of a sort of a muted red, isn't it? More of a pinky red. I put it more down the magenta line, the cerise pinky line. Beautiful, really like this kit. Antique fair. And then we've got um, 25 pieces of silver. So there's your three strands. And actually, because this has been on air before, um, if you pump in that code into our website, XWGP41, it will bring up the designs and whoever was designer with us that day. And you see, if you just pop those black agates, you know, just, oh, sensational. They work so well. So the early bird special is a great one to get today. Now this kit, I'm down to the last 40 already. I think we should bring the price on. Because <clears throat> it's only 17.95. I know under 18 pounds I love the colors because it's not bright red it's more of a subdued red there's a warmth and it's not like bright pink and they work so well I love these cold brown and blacks and then fruit gum reds and oranges in there as well and then there's some frosted bright pinks in there and for under 18 pounds we can say for new jewelry makers great starter kit Great starter kit, because new jewellery makers, we really want to enable you to get this hobby, this new hobby of yours. If you're watching right now, we deal in real gemstones and real sterling, fil uh, sterling silver findings. We're not about brass and glass, OK? If we do our brass covered uh, chain, like we do in our catalogue, we'll tell you. But what I'm saying is it's not about just any old base metal in the kit and any old bit of bobbins plastic this is these are genuine gemstones and we have silver 925 findings in the kit so what we're saying with these three strands and the 25 pieces of silver which we'll show you you can start making jewelry for instance there's two pairs of sterling silver shepherd hook earrings so that's two pairs of earrings to be made there's three bolt ring clasps with a jump ring so for your bracelet or your necklace findings because we can make the stretchies as well the head pins are fabulous for ornateness or threading on gems or you know doing all sorts of things and the crimp beads as well for your finishing and we will give you the largest small gift bag the 50 meters of beading thread which you'll see Lou working with today and the six meters clear elastic which is a firm favorite of mine because all I've got to do is thread a knot so I, I really like that <laughs> nice and simple I'm a, I'm a simple child and then the DVD enabling you with live tutorials because I find it I find it always easier to learn when somebody shows me I'm not very good sometimes with manual sort of descriptions you might be better but you might be sort of somebody who loves to read and work it out from pictures and examples so we give you that as well I'm down to 20 of these kits but it's brand new and if you're getting started just let the call center know you're a new buyer and you know you'd like the DVD in the booklet which is absolutely free and uh, the only other thing I'd say you know if you get a kit like this and we've got three new kits on today as well I'll be showing you other individual strands our toolkit it's under £10, it's 9 95 These are the tools of the trade. Like I said, they really, I think they're necessary to get started, if you don't mind me saying so. Because yes, we can tie a knot and do the stretchy, but for the crimping, for the actual cutting, 9 95 you can speak to the customer, it's at the bottom of the screen there, you can speak to the customer service centre as well. And it's one PMP, don't forget. So I'm not just saying that to encourage you to pay another 4 95 for the delivery. I'm down to 15 of those. 
So I think it's going to sell out quick. So if you're interested, have another quick look. Uh, but please don't miss out because I just love those colours. It proved very popular when it aired and uh, it's like the last chance on this. Down to 12 of those. So if you're watching on the repeats, good luck. Now, I think it's time to do the challenge. Now, I'm going to do something different on the challenge today. I've been really enjoying the Chosen by You segments. So we've got a Chosen by You segment as per uh, for later on in the show. But we've actually chosen another one. And uh, we are going to use this as today's challenge for Louise. We're doing it a bit different. We thought rather than us pick a challenge for Louise, we will pick another Chosen by You just for today and see how it goes. And I'd like to contact Sarah Jane from Andover. And uh, Sarah Jane from Andover, we've picked your Chosen by You to be Louise's challenge today. So Sarah, if you're watching, will you text me in or email or phone the free phone number, get in touch with the customer service centre and say to us, you know, just let us know why you picked what you picked or is there anything particular you'd like Louise to make? Are you obsessed with earrings? If so, would you like her to make some earrings like I am obsessed? Or is it bracelets? Or is it something you'd love to be able to do some of the rings that Louise does? Or, you know, you're really struggling with a certain element in what you chose. Could she, could she concentrate on I don't mind what, but Sarah Jane, I, I appreciate you might be at work right now. I'm watching on the repeat, so if you miss this opportunity, I apologise. But if you are watching from Andover, you picked Amethyst and Peridot. And I'm going to go over to Louise now and explain what you picked. But I'd love you to get in touch. I'd love us to have that live interaction this morning with you uh, on the text messaging service, which is six zero treble seven start at jm studio or anybody else wants to say hi but i'm particularly messaging sarah jane from andover just so we can have some live contact if she's watching on the show today or anybody who knows her, and, and just in case she's dropping off the kids or anything like that so we're going to explain what sarah jane don't worry if she's not she might be watching on the repeat in, in which case it's fabulous because she'll have some lovely things but i just thought it'd be nice to have that live interaction Good. Now, Sarah Jane has picked 10 pieces. Now, you can email us in. We do this every day. Normally, it's not the challenge. We're doing something <laughs> different today. But the good thing is, whatever's made out of it by the guest designer, you get to keep. Now, uh, the six pieces, uh, there are 10 pieces that you've actually chosen, Sarah Jane. And uh, I'm going to take you through them now. I've got my, I love the frosted amethyst puffy coins. This is part one. So this is what you've put together, and we're going to see what Louise can come up with in a moment. Um, and she's got the whole live show to do as well. So this was part one. We'll get the codes up as well. This is our purple amethyst faceted puffy coins. I love the frostiness. Yeah, I, really I, like, the, I like it, yeah. Like some people are a bit wary of it because they like the sparkle, but I think it just gives it a different edge, especially if you offset it with a, a sparkly gem. Yes, I, I like it. I love it a lot. I've seen it in the, um, the smoky quartz, and I've seen oh. it in the, um, the white... Um, I saw it in something the other day There's as well. some black onyx on oh, yesterday. Yes, the black onyx. That was it on Friday. Oh, my there word. There was some yesterday as well, tiny ones. Yeah, really. Oh, beautiful. They're like coal black, just beautiful. I'm like you. I really like the look of them. They look yeah. like they've been dusted with antique dust or yeah. something. Or, I don't know. <laughs> they do. They're just like, they're beautiful. So this is part one. Okay. 250 carats. Beautiful. Um, have we got a... Are we, are we putting the um, prices up on this, Scotty Boy, or, or... Are we putting the prices on this, or...? That's all right, sorry, I'm being impatient, aren't I? <laughs> I'm like, come on now, keep up. We've got 10 to get through. <laughs> she wants to get working. And there we go, 12 95 they're 14 millimetres each. So 12 95 Then we've also got um, the Peridot faceted rounds. Now, this is... I love the purple and the green. I really do. And I'm always intrigued with the beady beads, the sea beads. Now, these are peridot, so beautiful and glowing and a great contrast there straight away to the purple amethyst puffy rounds. Already, they already start to light, don't they? They're, they're two millimeter sea beads and we've talked about them in charms and not just beady beading, but with the monofilament, those high-end earrings <laughs> and I don't know, what other ideas would you have for... We can use them to go round other beads. Oh, yes, anyway. I saw that so, the yeah, other day. Yeah, around yeah, a little coin. Like these, mm. just around like yeah, an edge, yeah. like a yeah. halo. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful idea. So we've got our peridot there as well. And you mentioned, you know, you like the shiny as well as the frosted. I've got my bicones in my polished amethyst as well. Um, these are the 8mm amethyst bicones. Oh, that's 145 carats. So we'll get those codes up for you. So these are three elements. Mm-hmm. Oh! Now, Sarah's been in and phoned. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. 
We hope you're going to enjoy today's challenge uh, and you will get the jewellery at the end of this. Now, Sarah's put in a request. She's phoned into the call centre. She loves illusion necklaces. So if you could... You don't have to do it, make the whole kit out of that. But if we could incorporate... Yep, do that. She loves purple and green together. I think cool. you've, we've already yep. got a sense of that, haven't we? Um, Sarah, lovely to speak to you this morning. So an illusion necklace, if you could incorporate that... That would be lovely. It's nice, isn't it? Well, you can just choose what you want. <laughs> yeah. um, OK, so they've got the peridot. We've got the bicones there. Mixing it onto the screen there. Now, we've got a three-strand pack. So I'm going to just remove these off my hand for a moment. With the hematite and the Chinese uh, jade in the red and the green. Now, this is a three-strand pack. So it's red, but I would say that's more of a, a pink, wouldn't you? It has got a kind of magenta, magenta. edge to it. Yeah. Magenta is yeah. the word, isn't it? Wouldn't that look nice in that, that kit we just did? What was it? it would, Twilight, actually, in the, yeah. Twilight in the morning. What was it called? Antique Fair, that's the one. Uh, <laughs> Antique Fair, <laughs> yeah, that would look really nice with those magentas in there. And hematite just goes with everything, doesn't it? I love yeah, these so shapes. Versatile. Buttons, faceted ovals, and then they're like drops, aren't mm. they? Would you say drops? Yeah, they, yeah, they are like toe drops, yeah. Little skittles. Beautiful. So that's a three strand pack. Hmm? Ah, uh, good morning, good morning, Sarah. We are loving your what you've put together here. And for these three, it's only 11 95 Now, the reason we're showing you the codes is so that when you see the jewellery made up, as we talk to Louise throughout the day, you know, if you're loving what Sarah's chosen, there's nothing worse than not being able to get it, is yeah. there? <laughs> so we get the codes up there as well, because this is what jewellery makers are all about. Three fabulous strands there. So if you love the purple and the green like Sarah, if you're an illusion necklace fan, I'm loving this ring in the background that you made out one of the kits, personally, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. So this was another. And then, uh, to top it off, we've got a three-strand pack of the fluorite. Is that right? Yes. Um, <laughs> the rounds and the ovals, 615 carats. It's the mint green, which, you know, is absolutely beautiful. I mean, that's effortless, isn't it, with the purples of the amethyst? Yeah, perfect. Abs Na nature brought to life. Absolutely, because these are the colours you see, isn't yeah. it? don't you? In the fluorite, you tend to. But we've gone with all the mints, the ovals, mm. the rounds, and the larger 8 millimetre rounds. Yeah. Only 11 95 for that three-strand pack, yeah. Bargain. And I've got two more strands of beady beads. Is that right? Sea beads. Is it a two-strand pack, beautiful, or...? The dark green and the bottle green. Two green jades. There we go, the Chinese jade. So we might not get through all the beady beads, just simply because I'm sure Sarah appreciates on a live show, they can be a little bit more intricate to work with, but <laughs> that's not to say Louise is not going to incorporate them somewhere. I will Because actually, to be fair to Louise, when we have a challenge, she can use... Um, uh, you don't have to literally get through everything, but you, you just try to use little bits of, of all the strands, yeah. you know. So she'll get through as much as she can for Sarah, well. and we'll try and incorporate your wish list of an illusion necklace. So uh, she says, I'd really love to see what you gorgeous guys and girls can come up with from that selection. And I know you had some silver bits, but you kind of got carte blanche I've to work with what you've got oh. under the desk as well, which is a billy bonus. Um, so what do you think? Any any ideas while well, I have a glug? Um, well, I've done a kind of caged bead before using the seed bead, so mm. because there's some, some of the round in the fluorite, I thought I'd do that because the green obviously will turn well together. You'd, yeah. You'd probably you, put that on a bracelet. You put those three together and they look so yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, they do, don't and they, they work because it's, again, it's another tone with the, with the fluorite as well. So I think that green will work. Um, so. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and then, well, those I'll definitely three. do an illusion necklace, uh, probably with the amethyst and the, and the fluorite, but. Um, it's good. I did, um, last show or last yeah, last show I did an illusion necklace on one of my kits. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, and that was the demo I did. So maybe that's been inspiring, inspiring people. So um, yeah, I'll do that again. I love doing it. Fabulous, <laughs> fabulous. You changed your hair. Looks yeah, lovely. Yeah, I've got a fringe. Oh yeah. yes, I thought there's something different about it. It's taken me a while. It took me 20 minutes, but um, sorry about that. No, it looks lovely, Lou. It looks lovely. Right. Okay. So enjoy, Sarah. Please keep in touch with us as we go through the show, and uh, we really want to make it like that live interaction. I'm going to leave Lou. Well, she's going to come with me. We're going to see some of your designs this week because we've got to announce today in the live show uh, the runner-up and the winner of today's well the weekly wall of fame and i will have the chosen by you section as well for somebody else later on uh, in the show so let's go to the wall of fame <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
All right, let's start with you, Lou. 169. Yeah, 169, and this is from Daisy. This is a bracelet I made with Labradorite faceted rounds and silver grey potato pearls. They're Ooh. absolutely gorgeous, and I would really love to win so I can buy more lovely gemstones. I am completely addicted to the show. Labradorite, I love Good it. Luck. Good luck. This is uh, from Anne Marie, number 170. First ever entry using the pink, purple jade, and magenta, and the black onyx. She says, I've tried two different wire techniques, loves the show and the presenter, she's hooked. And uh, she's now using more of the expensive gems, which is good to hear. And uh, good luck, Anne-Marie, and your number 170. And we've got number 171 here, and this is Stacey, and it's got a big hello to the JM team. I enjoy watching the show, and I'm loving the new set. This is my first Wall of Fame entry, <coughs> brilliant. Um, it's hematite faceted beads on gold overlay sterling silver. Um, always making jewelry for friends, but I love these so much and keep them to myself. I would too, they're beautiful. Ah, this is number 172. This is Mary from Devon. She's a great fan of the chips. She says they're so versatile. On Monday's show with Mark was chip heaven. I love new design. Uh, fancy agate ovals, her favourite gem, smoky quartz, and the teals of the agate and the brown of the smoky quartz really complement each other. Good luck, Mary from Devon, and your number 172. And we've got number 173 here, and this is from Fiona in Edinburgh. And this is another first entry oh. to the Wall of Fame. It's Amatrine chips with sterling silver findings. She looks like Sherbet Heaven, that, doesn't That's it? That's beautiful. Well done. Good luck today. We'll be drawing out Indeed. the run and the run up later on. And this is number 174, and this is Frida. And it's Adventuring Potato Pearls and Abalone. She just returned from a stay with her sister, and she made it for a little thank you gift to say, uh, and she was very pleased. So what a lovely way to say thank you for letting me stay. Not beautiful. So more to read out later. We'll change them all around so you can get to see your designs as well. Um, okay, Lou, I'm going to let you get on with uh, Sarah's uh, Sarah Jane's challenge today, and I'm going to launch a brand new kit. Don't go anywhere. This bead box consists of three strands of Dalmatian Jasper and three strands of Zebra Jasper, totaling over 1,000 carats, all for just $24.95. This nature-inspired bead box is perfect to add a touch of animal print to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code CPP032. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker are proud to present our new range of Lisa Pavelka border moulds. Make incredible polymer and silver clay border designs to embellish your creations quickly and easily. Each mould contains four different borders which give a wide range of textures and patterns. Use alongside our crafting foils and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view a full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. feelings on Jewelry Maker. I think Jewelry Maker is great fun. You get to meet loads of people you never knew that were there, never knew they existed because there's a community on Facebook that you can speak to. There are people who, they, there's little groups that you can join and everybody likes to make different things. They'll show you the pictures. If you've got advice or, or they've got advice, you can swap notes. Um, there are all kinds of people of all different ages. It's not just uh, geared at ladies. You've got some gentlemen joining now, and you can make jewelry with with your children. Um, it's a nice it's a nice community thing to do, and I and I like the togetherness. It feels like you've suddenly got a whole load of friends out there, and it's just it's just a nice warm feeling as well as being fun. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker.
Okay, I know it's I know it's early, but let me just show you as well what is. I know this is naughty, but the manager's special is so darn beautiful. Um, look at that. I've just got to hold it all up at twelve o'clock. <whistles> manager's special at twelve o'clock. Beautiful. Um, I know, stunning. I know that's naughty. And I've got a cheeky, cheeky, cheeky that they look beautiful with them. Look at my Keisha pearls. Three strand pack, the bronze, the gold, and almost like a terracotta. Look at those. Oh, and they go so well with the manager special. Make sure you have both. It's just magic, magic. Now, I'm going to do a couple of little extras, and then um, they're all new today and then bring you today's first new kit. And I'm gonna go with uh, my producer's favorite, Blue Tiger Eye. I've got the blue and the stars and rocking Elvis with me today. So well, let's have some Blue Tiger's Eye. Let's, some beautiful, beautiful Tiger's Eye. Uh, the purple blue, we can still see that gorgeous choincy there. Big gemstones, big, at least the 10 millimeter or the 12, darling. 12, yeah, 12 millimeter rounds. Let's put those on the desk. Aren't they fabulous? Large carrot weight, 200 and 80 carats and uh, you know I was on for four hours yesterday on our sister channel didn't see any tiger's eye not one not a sausage we're just not having much of it over there you know sometimes I see it in the Tucolon but it's such a beautiful beautiful gem um, the green tiger's eye I know was recently been on we had the smaller six millimeters flew out absolutely flew out so please don't miss out because I, I know there's a lot of viewers that have got this gorgeous chatoint gem I love that sort of fibrous chatoyancy uh, what I had yesterday was a black star sapphire and chatoyancy and the stars are created by fibrous inclusions in the gemstones and they're such a miracle of nature. I was so excited on Gems TV, you know, in the same way that I love the tiger's eye. You can see it there, it's like an eye opening and shutting. It's, it really is a miracle of nature. It's gonna be cut so well. Otherwise it just looks like, well, just d darkness really. You don't see that chatoyancy. And even when they dye it with the blue or the green or the pink, you can still see that beautiful chatoyancy. I mean, if I just put that, cause I've got the stars and the stripes on, shall I put it with a bit of frosted white quartz? Isn't that lovely? Do you think that's lovely? Beautiful. I could just get some, you could, we do those little stars, don't we, on our website as well. Oh, you see, that is beautiful, isn't it? That lovely frosted white quartz there. Pop that in with the tiger's eye. Really works. I love those. And then, of course, you've got, you kind of got the different colours in there anyway. There's sort of the royal blue purples in there as well. I know it's saying purple, but there's royal blues in there as well. So, so pretty. Shall I do the, I'll do that white quartz afterwards for you, in case you like the two. And for the tiger's eye, which is, you know, a massive, what's that, 380 carats, um, 14.95. Bargain. 14.95. Really stylish, really beautiful. Just need a few, you know, don't have to overdo it. Mix them in with the white or the white pearls. And it's one PMP all day. Definitely want to see, and I know, you know, it has it has sold out in the past as well when we've had it. So these other colours. Let me put that with the white. We'll get that white frosted quartz on there as well. These are six millimetres. Six millimetres of your white frosted quartz. Ooh. Now my blue tiger's eyes flying out. I've got about a 60 second wait on that uh, phone line because it is um, a free phone number, don't forget. And I just don't, this is actually, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the only tiger's eye I've got today. So bearing in mind when we had the green tiger's eye, it flew out, uh, you know, just please, 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 please don't miss out. And I think on Sunday with Vicky, we had a, a kit with red tiger's eye. And I think that, Absolutely, absolutely flew out. Yeah, in minutes it flew out. So uh, bear that in mind, just because it does prove popular along, you know, amongst lots of regulars. Lots of regulars out there. Should we do the white quartz so you can have the two together? Because they do work, don't they? I think so. Do you think so? Got them all twisted there. Sorry about this. Let's get that white frosted quartz. Beautiful. Um, it is kind of like a frosted, faceted quartz. You know how we get the crackle as well? It's calling the crackle, but it's more sort of frosted. 
beautiful. And uh, that is 90 carats. It makes the ice whiteness really pop. Back in stock, and it is a mere, you know, if you're 1PMP all day, back in stock for this incredible, beautiful, I mean, it's really like Snow White, 7.95. They were telling Drew yesterday that it, Lucy said after that it was gonna snow and he got so excited. But he says, I've only seen snow about six times in my life. You know, being a Kiwi and all that. You forget, don't you? It, did it snow yesterday? We tried to, didn't it? It was cold enough, wasn't it? Um, Seven ninety-five. Uh, there for your crackle quartz frosted faceted rounds. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, um, I, I, I do want to do the. I've got some. Can I do my toffee popcorn? Yeah, because then I'll save the mukai. I want to do the mukai after I've done the kit because it just looks so gorgeous. I love these. They remind me of toffee. And I'm looking down because of all the gorgeousness I've, I've still got to come, you see. And let me just get those Keisha pearls for a start. Look, these are, I just think toffee popcorn when I see these. These are beautiful. I haven't seen them for ages. And again, they look like little jellyfish floating on the top. Some are gold, some are bronze. They are fire agate uh, rounds. And... Um, Look at those with the bronze and the gold on my Keisha Pearl set later on. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, hello. It's like a bonfire gorgeousness, isn't it? Love those Keisha Pearls. So very, very popular. Eight millimeter rounds, 275 carats. And they are an absolute steal. They've kind of got a glacierness to them. You know that when you say toffee, you know toffee has that sheen. You know, as opposed to fudge, which is kind of matte. Toffee has that kind of glistening sheen, doesn't it? Slabs of toffee that you almost like lose your teeth. Peanut brittle, that was the description. Who gave me that? Somebody was, was with me on the show. It might have been Cherry or Debbie. Uh, peanut brittle, that's what it looks like. Two, 275 carats of your peanut brittle fire agate. So those colours, those hazelnut colours and those golds and those ambers starts to make your mouth water, doesn't it? It's a free phone number as well. And um, I've got some lovely golden pearls that this will look pretty with in my new kit as well. So please don't miss out. I haven't seen this gemstone for ages. Love the little splodge. Well, they're not splodges. They look like little jellyfish or they look like uh, those little dandelion flowers that you blow. What are they called again? I always forget what they're called. I always start talking about them. You make a wish. They're like little windmill things. Ryan, we have this conversation at least once a month. And at least once a month, I forget. The dandelion flower things that you blow. And then, and then in the end, the viewers lose, lose the will and have to text me. And <laughs> because they're like, I can't believe she doesn't remember this. I told her last month. Um, you know what I mean. That's what they look like. Should we do a new kit? Oh, wait, we haven't got any more on the price yet. $7.95. $7.95, absolutely beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous with those Keisha pearls, which are a fee favourite in today's show, brand new, three strand pack, put them with some lovely smoky quartz, some muted smoky quartz, put them with some gorgeous, you know, gold and pyrite, mm, oh the goodness, beautiful, there's loads that they look fantastic with, I'd, I'd call this just peanut brittle. Yeah, I'd call this the Yumsville kit. Mm, taste it and see. Beautifulness. They're all coming up in the show later on. Rightio, let's do the new kit. And I will do this Mookite strand after the new kit, because uh, if I just do this, this is a new kit. We've got some little hidden extras there, which aren't necessarily included. It's called Shooting Stars. And it has pearls, it has some Chinese jade, and some ruby zoocyte in there as well. Well, not ruby zoos, some zoocyte, I should say, from the family of the zoo. But you can see some little hints of the pink ruby in there as well. Shooting star, it's a pale colour zoocyte, so it's a real pastel zoocyte. So rather than the dark greens and the flecks of the red. Now, if I just do this while you're panning down, Ryan. Oh, can you see why the, that beautiful mookite strand would look fantastic? We'll do that at the end. But let's introduce you to this new kit, this uh, annulite, your beautiful zoocyte, your ruby zoocyte crystals, if you like, your pale zoocyte there. I think there's some hint of pink in the ruby in there as well. And uh, you get the pinks 
and you get these gorgeous, gorgeous colours in there. Of course, zoocyte was discovered in 1954 in Tanzania, and uh, we'll know the most famous of that family being your beautiful Tanzanites when you know you have the heated uh, zoocyte. But here you get those pinks there, the, which is the presence of ruby, and you get the black in there of the zoocyte as well. But so this is your pale, pale zoocyte. Gorgeous. It's more of an opaqueness in there as well, a gentleness. And actually, I've got this lovely uh, map Jasper coming up later on in the show as well. If I just do this, don't they look great together? I've got this lovely map Jasper, which is new later on, and I just think, don't they look gorgeous together? And I think, you know what I put with that? A little hint of rose quartz. So whenever you see a kit or a new kit, you don't, as you know, you don't always have to think of what is incorporated in the kit, but we do like to keep it a little bit different and special, but just to show you some extras coming up on the show, I put in, what do you think, rose quartz with that? That'd be a nice kit, mm. wouldn't it? I'm just, I'm just mixing and matching them up. So this is our zoocyte. Um, that's coming up later as well. So beautiful. But can you see those hints of the ruby pinks in there and the silvery greys? I think this with labradorite as well would be gorgeous. Just a bit different. There's some darker plum colours in there as well, which tie in beautifully with your red um, Chinese jade there. Your darker colours, yeah. Just They're almost like a garnet uh, purple red, aren't they? So it just adds that powerful pack, that punch, and then to completely enliven it, to completely give it a, a totally different direction, we've got the gold and pearl. And can you see why I was so entranced with, you know, that mukite in there as well? Beautiful. So this is your three fabulous strands, yeah. It's really interesting when you start to add other strands, how it totally goes into a different direction. I just love this kit because you've got such different gemstones in there. The zoocyte, even when we had the green sort of flex with the red of the ruby zoocyte, we don't have it very often on the show. So to actually have this pale coloured pink with the silver dove greys in there of the zoocyte, very pretty, very gentle. You've got a lovely gentleness, but a really highlight of that golden pearl there. They're real pearls with that lovely metallic golden uh, coating as it were, real honey blonde. It's the honey of Pooh Bear, isn't it? It's the colour of Pooh Bear, do you think? I think that is Pooh Bear, isn't it? That's that, That's his colour, isn't it? Honey. And then you've got Chinese Jade, 90 carats. Um, six by four millimetre for your Chinese Jade rondelles in that deep dark mauve colour. Uh, pale zoocyte, 160 carats, eight millimetre rounds. And approximately on your pearls, they're six to seven millimetres. So this is called Shooting Star, and we've got 30 pieces of silver. It's brand new today. So the same thing applies, new buyers, new jewellery makers. We give you the DVD and the booklet as well to get you enabled and started. And for our regulars and our new buyers, here are the 30 pieces of silver now. We've got, I can see two hoops straight away, which makes me very excited, because all I've got to do is simply strand thread on a few gems and I'm away. I've got a beautiful pair of earrings. So there's sterling silver hoops, 10 head pins with a ball, uh, 10 crimp beads, two bolt ring clasps with a jump ring, and then I can have, make another two pairs of earrings because I am obsessed. Two pairs of shepherd dog earrings in there as well. Plus my 50 meters of beading thread, plus my organza gift bags, and my six meters of clear elastic. Now the elastic, you know, we, we often, we, well actually Louise has used this beautifully. Um, in the kit and the elastic I love just because the stretchies I think I'm wearing a stretchy ring this is from the second new kit of the day so it, it just goes to show you how versatile that really is now it's a brand new kit today so if you're thinking mm, I'm loving that and I want to get that that lovely map Jasper you showed me fee and I love I love the fact that yes that mukite would work great you know you could start to take the components about apart you don't have to just stick what's within the kit so if I just grab those again you could just add these to this beautiful kit and you're going in a totally different direction then this is just you know increasing your store look at that look how now the kit is transformed again going to you know you could have some pretty rose quartz Works so nice, doesn't it? Works beautiful together anyway, but when you've got all these extras, these hidden extras on the show as well, beautiful, really beautiful. Just love the uplifting Pooh Bear gold there. That's lovely. Original price on your screen. What do you mean original price, I hear you cry? Well, actually, $29.95 is exactly where we should pitch this, exactly where we should be. But we know it's a Wednesday, we know it's midweek, we want to encourage new buyers, we want to say thank you to all the regulars, and we know that today there'll be a runner-up and a winner on the show for the Wall of Fame.
And what I'd like to do is encourage more new buyers out there to come on in, get this kit and chance their arm by sending in their beautiful designs on an email or by post. And who knows, next Wednesday you could be a winner. So let's price slash it. 20, thank you, Ryan. You missed that, it's give me the motion there. Have another go, Ryan. Price slash. Uh, 24 95 that was very Kato. Very Kato, that was. Genuine, beautiful pearls, beautiful, pretty pale zoosai, beautiful pinks and lilacs. That would look gorgeous with a lot of the amethyst that um, Louise is working with in uh, Sarah Jane's challenge today. Chosen by you, which we've decided to use as a challenge. Isn't that gorgeous? Brand new. And I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight designs. Because what we also gave is a few little hidden extras to Louise. And I love these. I've seen these connectors with the Carnelian the other day. And we gave Louise, can you see these like, they're like, are they agate connectors? So it's having a connector, gray agate, but it's a, a gemstone connector. Isn't that beautiful? Five of those. So these are an extra. You can find these extras on our website and on our catalogue. We all send out our winter catalogue as well. We've given a beautiful silver heart. And we've given Louise um, our silver coloured brass chain, which is half a metre. In that hexagon shape. You see that's there. And I'll tell you what, she's really innovative with that chain. It's half a metre, so she's been able to incorporate it in several designs, earrings and two necklaces. Yeah, so there was just some hidden extras that don't come in the kit, but you might like and see in uh, Louise's design. So it's always worth mentioning, because we never can quite get through the sheer amount that we do have on offer on the sh you know, in our, in our store, in our vaults, as it were. So let's have a rundown of the kit, and we'll go and see Louise's designs. Brand new today. Remember that beautiful pale zoocyte? There we go. There's the rundown. There's the kit rundown. Twenty-four ninety-five. Price slash today. <clears throat> Excuse me. All righty, I disappeared there, didn't I? <laughs> it's not like I'm moving that fast. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> We see you here, we see you there. How did you find it? I loved it. It was just <clears throat> something a bit different, especially with those added bits. Yeah, 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 I love those. But really quite elegant, actually, when you put the things together. Beautiful. And I can see that you've picked out some of the more sort of pinks mm -hmm. of the pale zoocyte. Yep. Uh, and they look so hot with that jade, don't they? they? Do. That Chinese they look jade. Like perfect for this time of year with Valentine's Day. Coming of up. course, yes. How could I forget? <laughs> exactly the Valentine's. Yeah. I mean, we're the first. It's the first today, isn't it? So we've incorporated that little lovely heart as well. And of course, mm -hmm. that gives you time to make the jewellery as well if you're selling it, or if you're just doing it as a little thank you gift for staying at your sister's. Or yeah. beautiful. And um, could I uh, trouble you to pick up that middle necklace there? Because I'd just like you to talk about, because uh, often we get questions about these, these connectors, and you've used all five of these. Yeah. Um, and could you just explain to me how you've incorporated it in the necklace? Because I think this is brilliant. Yeah, um, I've used it to kind of space the necklace out a bit, but also with a feature. So the one down the middle, or the three down the middle, mm -hmm. um, they're actually just connected with some, uh, some of the elastic just oh. tied around it and knotted a couple of times and then just secured with glue before you, before you, you know cut what? it. Do I couldn't even see you that. Can't, you can't see it because there it is. It, there. Yeah. Is that the elastic? Yeah. And then secured with glue. <laughs> can't even yeah, see just it, Just a you? single loop of the elastic is almost invisible. So you've um, made three of those together and yeah. then to connect to, to the, the to, necklace. To connect the, the different sections, I've just used ordinary beading thread and crimped the sections the on at either thread. end. Yes, um, I can see the crimps there. And just it in stranded place. in between, so it was it was you know it was very much a, a collaborative thing with my sister. Actually, we kind of laid it out and went, "How can we do this?" You're getting her involved now as yeah. well. Brilliant. <laughs> There's another example there of what you've done there with the connector. And I just think it's nice to see this because often we can look at those and think, "Well, how am I going to incorporate them?" Yeah, in? it's really easy just to do it like that. I mean, you could very easily use a head pin to use it as a, uh, create a drop from it. Actually, create the loop around it with a head pin, oh, okay. but but very simple just to do it with the the crimp beads. I was lucky; I had some extra crimp beads sent with the kit as well. Well, so it, it lent me to do something like that. 
and there you've cut the chain there as well. Yeah. But I'm going to draw attention to the, the brass silver coloured chain in a moment because you have used it in several uh -huh, designs. Yeah. Could you just um, grab, I mean I can see it in the necklace as well, uh, the, the bracelet and, and the earrings because you've done this in, yeah. in, a, in, in a similar vein and I just think yeah. this is a great way of using it and I wouldn't have thought of it if I'm honest. Again, this was a, it was a kind of a happy accident because um, obviously we needed to cut the chain to um, get it get it into the different sections, um, and because they're quite large links and thinish, um, kind of the wire, it's what do you do with it to make it still quite strong? Yeah. Um, and what we just we ended up they laid you know we ended up as the, they were ended up laying next to each other on the board and we're like ah I wonder if we can actually do that. Um, so all we did with the broken ones and actually end up cutting <laughs> somebody right, to, okay. to physically do it um, was use it like you would use um, like a bale for a mm -hmm. pendant um, and actually put the the two ends um, into the um, into the, the holes yeah. yeah so just open it slightly so that you've got the the pearl there and if I can this get is the brilliant hole this is like right those way. earring clasps that we yeah. have that yeah just, absolutely um, yeah. So you might need to open it a little bit more. Just yeah. feed in one of the holes and then just tease it round and pop it into the other hole. Now that's all I've and then just push it in. And that's, and that's what you've done on the earrings I've and the bracelet. Done, um, for doing that. And for the bracelet, literally open it up, loop it in so you're recreating the chain. Ah yes. And then fasten the gem in, because then they can yes. create the chain back so again. So you're doing it one by one. Yeah. Right. Um, and for for security, I mean I have purely because it was for here but for security all you, you need to do it. is put a, a dot yeah. of glue in the hole yeah push it in hold it for a few seconds go on to the next one um, because the, the glue that we sell the jewelry glue is brilliant for doing mm. that I mean I've mended some of my friends um, stood pearl um, earrings with oh, it, right, and they're yeah. really solid <laughs> now, so uh, she tried to have a go with ordinary craft glue but well, it wasn't, wasn't that <laughs> brilliant but this is secure that secure it like that I so. often get people you know the pearls because they're a little bit smaller on the hole because they're obviously mm. then they're, they're real pearls they are found it harder to incorporate in a different way this is what I yeah, loved no, about well, this with the, the chain the chain quite fine yeah um, it was it was they're very simply went into the hole I didn't and have to ring them or anything glue it yeah, and then, yeah absolutely that brilliant beautiful and the same for the earrings as well yeah the earrings with the zoocyte in them as well so we you actually made one two what was it again one two three four five, five six, seven eight, eight yes yeah eight, eight pieces, pieces. Eight pieces. And then there's other earrings. You've got the pearls going across the middle, haven't you? Is yeah, that why um, you've got your... It's kind of like, well, we, we, we did that to add a bit of definition, but when we got to the end, we were thinking, Valentine's Day, and it kind of looks like Cupid's arrow, um, you know, the kind of bow and arrow bit. So I love we're it. Thinking of that, but just something different a bit different. Using the hoops, yeah, isn't it? yeah, rather so than that... just having the beads at the bottom. Creating just, the... just done on a head pin, yeah. um, looped on at the bottom, and yeah. then once it's on, put the rest of the gems on it, and then loop it around the top. Fabulous. Now they are actually in the kit, those hoops, they in are. the shooting star yeah. kit. So they're part of the 30 pieces of silver in there. Yeah. So fabulous. Love that, Lou. Really different way of using them. And, oh, hello. Really, <laughs> really um, dynamic seeing that across the surface there. Beautiful. So uh, this is the shooting star jewellery kit that Louise has been making with. Tried and tested. Definitely eight pieces of jewellery that yeah. can be made. I mean, I know we gave you some little extras in there as well, yeah. but you're quite welcome to add those to your order. But for me, uh, the favourite of mine is that pale coloured zoocyte. I'm just enchanted by it. I think it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Our first new kit of the day. Right, my darling. I'll leave you to Sarah Jane's today's okay. challenge because I know an illusion necklace has, <laughs> has to happen. And I'm going to do the mukite. Okay, do you think cool. the mukite works? It does, yeah. It does, doesn't it? If I pull off those pearls and that red sort of mauve jade there as well, look at that. I mean, I, I, not that you have to separate them, but I just thought, well, that is happening for me there as well. And the mukite with all those colours, actually, you could pick out the paler pinks. There's some lovely pale pinks in there as well. That would look beautiful as well with the, the paleness of the zoocyte or that map jasper that I've got coming up later. So this is an extra that we can certainly add to our order and it is beautiful. I know Louise likes the mukite as well. It's a gorgeous, and you've got such an array of colour. You've got the mauves, you've got the greens, you've got the lilacs, you've got the reds, you've got the okras. You've got those that are kind of like a mix of okra and the red and then the ivory cream and then the white and then the lilac. I love the colours of the mukite. And again, I didn't. I think the last two times I was with you, I didn't have any mukite. So it's very popular with our industrious jewellery makers. It's very popular um, 
with our regular designers as well. It's a beautiful Jane gemstone, and it's literally a uh, windolaria radiolarite. They are little uh, sea creatures that lived millions of years ago and have literally become embedded in the rock formation of Western Australia there in Mook Creek. And hence you get these wonderful colours and it's the only place in the world where Mookite stems from. And you actually look at it and you think, are they painted, Fiona? Are they coated? You know, like we coat our real pearls to give them those fun colours. And I can say, no, these are 100% real Mookites, natural Mookites, that lovely sort of oil painting look of them, that lovely, all we've done is, you know, cut and polish, but that, that lovely interesting mix of colours and oil painting and it looks like pigments of the oil paint on your, you know, on your, your little board there as well, it's just, it's natural, it's beautiful, it's, it's again, it's a, you think about nature forming these billions of years ago and for our delectation we can make it into real gemstone jewellery even if we just want to use a few on a head pin even if we just want to make a little charm or a stretchy I, I, I just love these I think they, they nature's done done the job for you already really because she's created all those different pigments all those different colors and look how well they complement each other even if you just leave it as is I mean they're great fun to pick apart get the reds, get the mauves, get the pinks. There's lots of pinks and mauves in there that look lovely with that pale zoocyte. Great fun to pick out the okras and the golds. You know with that peanut brittle? You know that peanut brittle earlier I had? The fire agate. Can you see those golds and those browns there as well? This is what's so versatile about mookite. You start to pick out those colours. You know, take away your reds, go with the golds and the mauves and look how beautiful they start to look with the fire agate. It's just a real crack gem store to have in that one strand. It's the only mookite I've got today. I think the last two times I was with you, I didn't have any mookite. And I just love it with that red and that, that golden pearl of your shooting stars. Beautiful. Really love that. Alrighty, it's a bargain today because, you know, if I'm saying and I'm suggesting another strand to a kit that you've already got, I don't want it to be uber expensive. Not really, because, I, you know, We've only got, all of us have only got so much of a budget. So let's make it uber affordable for you. Please don't miss out on the Mookite because I just know if you've never bought it before, you're really going to enjoy this today. And uh, it's one PNP all day. That's a free phone number. We've got it back in stock and it's genuine gemstones. And we're looking at 7.95. 7.95 for your gorgeous Mookite under eight pounds. Yeah, isn't that delicious? Under eight pounds. Absolutely beautiful. Under eight pounds. Gorgeous. Start to make your own kit up. You don't have to go with what we show today. I mean, I've got a lovely three strand pack of pearl and, and pyrite, you know, start to mix in some other colours in there. Some other beauties on the show, you know, just sort of mix and match them up. Start to make your own kits up. Because that's the beauty of Jewellery Maker. Proven very popular. And don't forget, you know, my Fabulous, fabulous treat of, you know, you can get out these lovely bronzes and those pearls and pick out the sort of the redder colours there in the mookite and then the more sort of golden honey champagne colours in the mookite as well. Just beautiful. $7.95 and I'm going to do a very special offer as well in a moment on my three strand of the pearls, Keisha pearls. Yeah, so hopefully you got the code there for the mookite. They're going to come up right after this because it's uh, 10 o'clock and I like to do a special on the hour every hour. This beadbox consists of six strands of genuine pearls, including bronze, peach, pink and white pearls, all for just $34.95. Bring a touch of class to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code ETMG80. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker are proud to introduce Lisa Pavelka Textured Stamps for all your polymer and silver clay projects. 
A wide range of Elisa Pavelka stamps come in a variety of unique patterns and textures. Each stamp is designed to give highly detailed results for both dimensional design and surface imprinting. Each stamp comes unmounted for optimal usability. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, please visit our website. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Okay, I've got a very special offer, offer on my Keisha pearls, or Keishi pearls. They're non, uh, uh, sort of nucleated pearls, basically. It's like the oyster or the wee clam literally spits out and rejects the implanted nucleus and you get these lovely like little current shapes and these are gorgeous I've got I've got a real copper color I've got a gorgeous uh, champagne uh, blonde color and I've got bronze color three strand pack so the they come from the Japanese word meaning poppy keisha keisha and like I said they grow without the nucleus where the nucleus has been literally rejected so beautiful they're entirely composing of that nacre that nasa layers and they have a really high luster as a result so all of that beautiful luster and um, that beautiful beautiful orient so the shaping uh, because there's no nucleus to guide the ultimate shaping of the pearl their shapes can vary greatly so hence they look like little currents as it were um, absolute beautiful unique pieces they really are and like I said nucleus for your poppy seed pearls or poppy seed is how they're referred to they can grow from four to ten millimeters inside the you know absolutely incredible I mean a lot of the South Sea pearl farms now they x-ray the oysters as well to determine whether the uh, nucleus has been expelled and if it has they tend to try and renuclease it before the acacia or the Kyushu pearl has time to to form so um, they really are beautiful because it's entirely tiry solid nasa or nacre composition and I just love them and after these three I'm gonna do this because I think this is a kit Bonfire bubblicious. Look at those. That's a brand new. These are all brand new today, and I think that fire agate just looks sent. They are the colours in that Keisha Pearl. Don't you would you agree? Yeah, my Mexican fire agate. I'll do straight afterwards so you can have the set now for all of that rare nacre layer, for all of that nasa. Look at that 100%. You've got colours, you've got greens, the orient, there's the shades of green on there. I love this this colour of the champagne blonde and we've just seen a really gorgeous technique by Lou about you know how we can incorporate these differently into our designs because I know they're a smaller hole for them to be stranded onto so you might have to use your monofilament for instance or um, something a bit finer um, but the bronze the beautiful colour so can you use the have you actually tried these on the beading thread does it work so yeah I did the samples you for did? all of the different things and yeah it worked the beading on the thread, yeah, it goes and the head pins because I did some and the head, head pins. pins as well yeah fabulous there we go we have it so I wasn't sure on the, the on the size but there we go it's fine for all of those materials so you're gonna get all three so just thinking about these miracles of nature these beauty I just love these colours they really and you know later on with the manager special I mean I'll just grab a couple of the pieces in my hand here the manager's special later on today I mean just look how they tie in with that at 12 o'clock so please don't miss grabbing either that's just it's a five strand pack the manager special look how beautiful it ties in with those Keisha pearls it's, it's just beautiful but right now I want to concentrate on these and I want to concentrate on the fact that you've got the Mexican bonfire I get straight afterwards. Oh, cool, that's lovely. Do you know what I put in with that then? That peanut brittle that we had earlier. That was only, I think that was only 7.95, wasn't it? Three strands of your beautiful Keisha pearls, your non-nucleated pearls, entirely composed of that nacre, that nacre, your poppy pearls, solid nacre. 
So 100% Nacer, which, you know, they, as I know, they generally are uh, small in size. The shaping, as you know, is irregular because there's no nucleus for them to follow uniformly a pattern around. Uh, but it's these colors. I can see coppers, bronze, gold. They just are so uplifting. They were just caught my eye straight away and I thought, that's a Fifi special. I'm gonna get right behind those because they're so beautiful. So beautiful. You know what to do. Call the free phone number now. Get ready to, Scott says, whack it in your basket and uh, try it out. 30 day money back guarantee new buyers. So that's a guarantee. When you look at that quality, if you're not entirely satisfied, if you're not feeling the love, if you're thinking I can get pearls for less elsewhere, which I, I, I personally think you'll struggle with, but you know, that's not for me to say, then you've got that 30 days anyway. It's the colors I love. Copper, bronze, champagne, gold. So beautiful. Toffee, nutty, hazelnut, gold. It's like a chocolate jamboree. That's a real, that's a real redhead, isn't it? It's a real copper red colored hair. Rita Hayworth hair, that is. Beautiful. Gorgeous, look at those. All three strands. There's your price on the screen for all three strands, a mere $12.95. Genuine, genuine Keisha Pearls, genuine Nacer layers, 100% pure Nacer, and all for under £13 for three strands. Genuine pearls. I mean, there must be on each, I mean, if I just, again, it is only a fee guesstimate, three, six, nine, ten. So if that's, that, if that's 10 pearls, that makes 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 8. 78. There must be close to 100 on each strand. 80, at least 80 on each strand. I know that's a fee guesstimate because I'd sit here and take me all day to count those, but aren't they sensational? What work you could do with those. Put them with the more sort of uniform round pearls. Put them with this lovely bonfire at, um, agate there as well because they're just sensational with the dark shades and the light shades. Hello, Charlie boy. Hello, darling. I'm Grand. How are you? I don't see Charlie enough. Love Charlie. Don't see him enough. Tends to be in another studio hiding from me when I'm around. 12 night. I'll find him out. I'll find him. I'll seek him here. I'll seek him there. Can't hide from me forever, Luke, can he? Mm hmm. <laughs> Under £13 for the three strands. And then we'll bring you that bonfire agate straight afterwards. Oh, now there's something a girl can't refuse. Come live on air and say that to my face. It's not that kind of show. <laughs> he says I can track him down anytime. Oh, I'm a blushing. 12.95. Beautiful. Lots of you taking advantage of that. I don't blame you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, genuine Keisha pearls. Down two. Double figures, double bubble. Don't miss it, especially with that manager's special, which is such a lovely jamboree of colour and is just beautiful with it. And then my bonfire agate as well is just going to send you over the edge, quite frankly, in terms of your jewellery. I just think that, do you know that that looks so good on blue? You know, if you're wearing a blue dress or a royal blue or... Because that sort of, it's like a sandy, bronzy terracotta colour. Love it. Just love the Keisha pearls. They're so eye-catching. You know, they really glow, they really light up. They've got lovely reflective surface area. And because it's all an ir irregular uh, reflective surface area, it's catching more light, if that makes sense. Shall we do a fire agate? Oh, let's. Please promise me you'll get both. You have to have both. Don't get the pearls without the bonfire agate, because that's, that's a whole world of disappointment otherwise. And you know you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. I pop in those nice frosted white quartzes from earlier as well. Do you remember those that we did with the, the blue tiger's eye? I just, you know, w when you get your bundle together and invariably a lot of regulars order more than one piece from a uh, jewellery maker because they know, you know, they've got the 30 day money back guarantee. And it's nice to play with the gems on the certain, you know, there's certain days, I, I was talking today and we haven't seen Keisha Pearls for ages, haven't seen the tiger's eye or we get it on and then it's gone. You know, you might not be watching when it's on again. You might miss this and then be thinking, Oh, a month later, they've got it again, or I'll try and get it. Or actually, you might just miss it altogether, because there's never, it was like yesterday I was saying on our sister channel, there's never a guarantee that we're going to get it in again. 
These are gemstones, you know, genuine gemstones. And I know that's an obvious thing to say, but I think a few years ago when I, we could get Paraiba, struggling to get it now. I was thinking a few years ago we could get Kunzite, struggling to get it now. Indicolite, impossible. You know, we, we're struggling to get those gems. And there's no guarantee, even with our beautiful gem strands that you're seeing here, that we'll always have them on the show. Indeed, there's many a week, a month goes by when you just don't see these varieties, these gem types. So you love it, you like it get it today it's one pmp all day and especially when they work so harmoniously together I, I, I mean that's my opinion looking at these colors how well they're working together anyway you can always send it back if you don't agree with me i haven't got enough of these so i'm a bit miffed i only started with double figure of these and they're beautiful look at those copper colors tying in with the reds of those pearls the darker chocolate colors tying in so the mottle is like the calf skin patterns, isn't it? They're fabulous on, they're so eye-catching. They're, they're, um, ah? 14 millimeters and 460 carats. <whistles> Love them. Lovely luster, lovely faceting. Big carat weight, four, look at that one, isn't that beautiful? 460 carats. Lovely mottle patterns, lovely opaqueness. They've kind of got that fasting like a golf ball. Bonfire reds, you know, those colours that just tie in with those reds of the of the copper pearls that you had earlier. Oh, look at those close up. They're beautiful. They're like orbs of planets from outer space. Look at those colours. Just beautiful together. So beautiful. But I've only got double figures of the bonfire agate. So again, with these big carrot weight, 460 carats, please, please, please dial early. Don't miss out. Look at them again. It's heavenly. Heavenly. <clears throat> Brand new today, but I'm starting with double figures, gorgeous jewelry makers. So please don't miss out. Phone that free phone number. Regulars as well, you know. There's nothing to say that you can't make your own kit up with you know, different components that you see on the show. Even if it's just the strands you get from me, we've got all those hidden extras of those um, silver findings, gold-plated findings on the website as well, and chain and, and leather cord and, and satin cord and ribbon, all sorts of uh, extras on our website. Now, already without even seeing the price, we've had a big uptake. Good for you, because you know, I'm saying double figures. I can see you've got the same eye as myself. You know, they work together and you know you've got that 30-day money-back guarantee to, to play and look and have them out on your, your beading tray. 10 already allocated while I'm talking. So let's give you that price. Let's give you that price. And the manager special promised me you'll watch at 12 o'clock because it all ties in beautifully. The jewelry is gonna be gorgeous. Haven't got enough to go round, that's my only drawback. So good luck on the repeats, everybody. Good luck on the repeats. Oh, love that. 10 pounds 45. How much were our three strand of the pearls? 12.95 was it? So we say 13. Um, so 23, oh, 23, um, 20, oh, I've lost the plot. About 23 pounds, isn't it? It's 23 pounds 50, 23 pounds 40. 23 pounds 40 for the set, if you decided to go for both. You don't have to, but I just think don't separate them. They belong together. 23 pounds 40, one P and P all day. And you know, the chance of seeing them again, like I said, is, it, it, it's, it's a risk. The fire agate is even slimmer than the Keisha pearls. 50. D only remaining now, so half the stock's been allocated. Remember, we only started with double figures. So, quick as you can, jump on that. Code UBTA08. Brand new pieces proven very popular today. No wonder, because they just work. Just rock. So, remember the manager's special at 12. Talking of new pieces, still to come. Um, still to come, I've got that. I did give you a flash of these earlier. Do you remember my early bird special? I put two of these coral pieces. Our early bird special was just ridiculous with those 1,700 and was it 62? I can't remember. 1,762 carats. I'll tell you now. 720 carats, yeah. And uh, I've got this three strand pack, you see, of the red coral and that lovely pyrite coming up as well. This is a three strand pack, so if you've got that early bird special, Three strand pack coming up. 
beautiful. I've also got these fabulous um, Map Jasper, I think you saw me hold, and I'm going to do these with these potato pearls. Put those two together. I put this Map Jasper with the Shooting Star kit, you know, with the Pale Zoocyte, and I just thought, didn't that look gorgeous with these potato pearls? Should we do a kit and then do that? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Uh, let's do a kit. I uh, know you've seen it before. Um, backed by popular demand. It's magical. And, you know, the reason I say it's magical is because I'd, I'd straight away, I'd get the matte jasper to tie in with this beautiful blue in there. I've got the pinks in there, hot pink. I've got what look like giant slabs of apricot. You get your free DVD and your booklet to get started, new jewellery makers and our catalogue of all the hidden extras as well. Um, so this is backed by popular demand, so you might have seen the kit before, but uh, we'll get you started. We'll be talking to Louise for top tips as well. It's called Light of Day. Light of Day, my goodness me. Hot, hot pink. Hot pink. These are your Chinese jade rounds. Eight millimeter, 150 carats. Now they are hot. I love that color with with the silver dove grey, I love that, you know, and that pale zoocyte out the shooting star kit. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That's coming up later. So that's one, and then this is why I tied it in with my four millimetre Chinese jade. It's like a, um, a grey blue. I wouldn't call it blue and I wouldn't call it grey. It's like a mix between the two. It's like a pale sort of silvery blue. So that's another strand, 40 carats, so 190 carats in total altogether. And then natural coloured agate nuggets, so we can see all that natural colour. They're polished, so they almost look like the glacier, you know, they've got that film, they almost look like... And you've got little irregularities in the quartz formation, and then you see the banding of the agate, because that's what it all is, microcrystalline quartz. And look at that, it looks like big, juicy, dried apricots, big pieces of dried fruit, doesn't it? Dark to the light. They, they range from 17 millimetres up to 44. So it's, it's like a, an irregular, over a thousand, did I just get the board? Over a thousand carats in this one strand. Dark to the light, to the gold, to the red. Beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. So again, wouldn't they look good with that early bird special? You know those black? Big, gorgeous slabs, those agate slabs. Now, this is a kit, like I said, with 1,190 carats. So we've got some incredible gems and colours to work with here. And I'd be terribly tempted to just get the kit and start to incorporate those strands with, you know, other strands that I've had on the show. For instance, wouldn't those reds of that look lovely with... Where's that Botswana gone? Oh, that, there it is. Um, for instance, if we just take out the 1,000 carats of the agate, put it with the bonfire agate, slip in a little bit of cheeky Keisha pearl. Oh, look at that. You know, if you just want to separate the, what's in the kit, don't always have to go with what's in. Doesn't that rock? Is that working for you? Mm -mm -mm. So, you know, we can take apart a kit as well. I mean, we put the kits together anyway to make it really different and unusual in terms of perhaps thinking a little bit out of the box. Mexican Fire Eye Gate down to the last 30 of those. We put the kits together anyway to give you unusual looks, to make you think about ways in which gems can work together. And if you look on the website and put in that code, it'll bring up the designs. Because while guest designer, they're restricted to use only what's in the kit. You get the silver, two bolt ring clasps with the jump rings, 10 silver ball head pins, two pairs of sterling silver shepherd hooks, and 10 sterling silver crimp beads, 50 meters of beading thread, six meters clear elastic, and your large and small gift bags. So they are restricted to use only what's in the kit, but if I was looking at this kit, that's what I'd be tempted to do. I'd definitely slip in that lovely agate with my Botswana agate, fire agate, and Makisha pearl. i put the pinks with some navies, that, those tealy blues with that lovely map jasper coming up. I mean, maybe you wouldn't, maybe you'd use it all together, but it's just the way my eye works. It's just what I'm seeing. Gin time. Let's look at the price. Oh, 19.95. Unmissable. Limited stock. I've literally got about 50 or so. So please, please, please. If you're loving that and you're thinking, yep, 
I could go creative with that. I know exactly how I'm going to use those. Then please, 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 I've got 50 or so. So whatever you do, it really is about first come, first serve. The light of day. I just think there's some lovely gems in here to be used and incorporated with other strands on today's show. 19.95, under 20 pounds for our kit. Still got two new kits to do today as well. Louise is working hard with the challenge, which today is a chosen by you from uh, Sarah Jane. But we have got our chosen by you section. Got another message from Sarah Jane in Andover. Her request was for a uh, illusion necklace, and uh, we've had another message in. This is nice because we like to keep it, you know, involved. We like to, you know, hear from you. Anybody else can text in as well, but we're asking Sarah Jane specifically, you know, you know why she chose what she chose because she loves green and the purple. He said, "Is there any particulars that are a favourite? An illusion ex uh, necklace was was a favourite." And what's the next text or message? She phoned the call centre. I know that. Sarah Jane and Andover in Hampshire. I've been there, I talked around there. Oh my giddy aunt, she says, I'm completely flabbergasted. This is fabulous. It's a good thing I sat down or I'd have fallen over. Thank you so much. I love, love, love Louise's designs. Oh, so that's the cherry on top, her making with my choices. Can't wait to see the end results. You now have me glued unequivocally to my telly. Lot of love, love to you all at JM, Sarah Jane. Isn't that fabulous? She's glued because the good news is as well, Sarah Jane gets all the pieces uh, for free from Day -day. our Lou, yeah. yeah. So uh, I can already see Sarah Jane, not to spill the beans because we'll join Lou later. <laughs> I can already see a pair of earrings and a bracelet. Yep. <laughs> but I like. So there could be a few pieces missing. <laughs> there won't be, there won't be. <laughs> Shall we do the matte jasper and the potato pearls? Because I just think these are beautiful together, you know. <laughs> that was a really strange noise, Scotty boy. I just got this in my ear. <laughs> strange noises in the gallery today. Um, this is brand new on Map Jasper, and I just thought with these pearls, I mean, take it or leave it. Just, just a, a little fifi choice. Um, these lovely big potato pearls. I was just thinking the silvers in there and the bronzes. I just thought. Ooh, now I'd be very tempted to put in a little injection of colour there or or some white or a little bit of I'm, I'm going with I'm thinking rose quartz again I'm thinking pinks or you could just you could take out those lovely blues tealy blues in that um, kit that we just had light of day that works as well doesn't it you know for another third gem in there or if you want to go with that injection of colour mmm let's do the map uh, uh, map um, um, yeah, our new today. Love these. Again, lovely with labradorite as well. It's those silver dove greys, it's those um, cashmere greys, but it's the swirling patterns. They do look like maps. You know, li linear lines and rounds like ordin ordnance survey maps. Did you ever have to study those at school in geography? Have you ever used it since? No. <laughs> We've all got sat nav now, don't we? Yeah. It was nice to know where there was a hill or a lighthouse, not a lighthouse, a tower or the highest point. Lays of cardboard, though. That's the one thing I can remember from those letters. I was talking, talking, frequently talking about it last week, yeah. Because um, <laughs> I know we cheat now and use our phones and our sat navs, but this, well, I can't remember what it was. My friends did it where, <coughs> excuse me, you'll be able to tell me, viewers. They went out with uh, the little boys and they went out, and it's like a treasure hunt. And if you, you, you log on to something, and I suppose it's the way in which you'd use maps, but if someone's been on the walk before, they'll hide things, and it's something you can log in, and then you've always, you, you can, once you find it, you can have it, but you've got to, you've got to hide something as well, replace it or something, haven't you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. There's a name for it. Yeah, yeah, anywhere. It's a great idea. Yeah, you leave a little bit of a treasure for somebody else to find, and you can take the treasure that you found. Yeah, I think it's great. Going off on one there. I can't remember what it's called, but there you go. Um, <laughs> so let's do our jasper, beautiful jasper, fine grained micro cryptoline quartz chalcedony there. Uh, this is the family that it's from. And you get these, oh, I mean, look at that one there. There's this little strand of like red in there, isn't that? That would, do you know what that would look great with? And I've got it coming up. My button black onyx, faceted black onyx. Ooh, just thinking of those darker shades in there as well. You know, if you want to pick out the dark blacks, some lovely waves in there. I've got this great button black onyx that's faceted as well. Now, my map jasper, 
570 carats. That is huge. They're 14 millimeter, beautiful with those silvery pearls and just different. You know the silvery greys, apart from your Labradorite, we've just seen a little bit in the pale zoocyte. You don't see them very often, do you? What are the ones that we got in the gemstone family? No, you get the black and the white like your rutile quartz. You know our third new kit of the day, wouldn't this look fabulous? Mm. How a light yeah, maybe, black rutile quartz, black onyx if we're going, you know, swirling. I, I always love silvery grey, dove grey with pinks. because I start to think of Labradorite or violets. Amethyst, now I'm going to go steal a bit of uh, Louise's amethyst from Sarah Jane's challenge today. And I'm going to steal a bit of hematite from that challenge because I think this would look lovely as well. Let's put in that frosted button amethyst, for instance, or the bicones. And let's put in a bit of the hematite. Ooh, now then. Wow, that's nice, isn't it? These are three pieces from Sarah Jane's challenge. I just wanted to see the colours. Because for me, sometimes I need to see it. I need to pick it up and I need to hold it and just see how it works. What do you think? Does that work? Just, an, just another way we can use this beautiful jasper, which is new today. And we'll bring you those codes again later. Excuse me. Sorry, I apologise, coughing on you. I don't want to do that. So anyway, it's new today. Should we do it so I can do the pearls afterwards? Yeah. Oh, and a bargain price to boot. £9.45. Love those patterns. Mild, aren't they? Mild grey. Swirling, whirling patterns. Nine pounds forty five, five hundred and seventy carats. Beautiful. Should we do the pearls? Big potato pearls. Lovely bronzes in there that tie nice with the Keisha pearls. Lovely ice white potato pearls. Now, here you can see when we look at these and the difference. Um, oh, still callers coming in. Hold on a whole fire then. Still callers coming in. Whatever we want to mix it with. I just like it with the amethyst and the hematite. Let's just have a play. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Ooh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Now, I'm already into double figures for that map, Jasper, so please, please, big carrot weight for that price point. 570 carrots. What are you going to mix it with? Text me in, let me know. What would, what would your idea be in terms of mixing it? Which way would it, which direction would it take you in? £9.45. I love it when you get a bargain like that for under a tenner. And I will bring you those black onyx buttons later on in the live show as well. So please stay watching. And those extras there that you saw me just hold with it are in Sarah Jane's uh, challenge for Louise today. Should we move on to these beautiful potato pearls? Yeah, while well, we can. But I hope you've got that code WUQZ88. Now you can see in these pearls as well how um, how they differ from the quiche pearls, obviously, but how they start to create that little more rounded, more barrel shape because they've got a nucleus to follow around in terms of creating the nasal layers. And you can actually physically see that creating of the layers, like the rings on a tree. Beautiful, look at that orient. You see the pinks and the lilacs. And then the bronze pearls there. So you've got the coated pearls there, like a peacock green there as well. They would work lovely with those um, tealy blues in that uh, light of day kit. Something very similar about them there as well. Lovely shimmer and shine. They're sizable as well. You can take out those bronze ones to put with our Keisha pearls. The silvery blues with our light of day kit. They look great with that matte jasper. Good luck on that, everybody. Please don't delay on it, though. It's proven very, very popular. You can see why, especially when you put it with potato pearls. I mean, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? A little bit of a wait on the phone if you're still waiting for that map, Jasper. But while you're waiting, if you want to write down the code and get the pearls at the same time, then please feel free. Please feel free, because you know and I know that's one PMP all day, and don't forget web buyers to check out. Otherwise, that goes back into stock after 60 minutes, which enables our wonderful viewers on the repeats, and quite rightly so, to snaffle them. 
We always try to start with a good quantity as much as we can, you know, unless it's a, a repeated piece. Or, you know, we are restricted because we're talking real gems. So inevitably we have the restrictions on the real gems and what we're able to bring you because we're reliant on what nature can proffer up. Now we've given these pearls the coating. It's like a, um, well, it's, it's looking more green there on the screen, but they're looking more sort of peacocky, bluey green on my hand. And then there's silver and then there's bronze with a copper overtone. And then the lovely white pearls as well. You can see there's nacer layers, but for me, it just adds to the character. Back in stock, big pearls, say at least 10 millimeters. And your price is coming on the screen. Eight ninety-five. So that with your Jasper, under twenty pounds. And look at the size of those gemstones, to, and look how beautiful they are together. Just add in another element, element that you've seen on today's show. Beautiful. Under twenty pounds for those two very ample strands there, big gemstones, real pearls, and that beautiful jasper, just if you wanted to have both. Of course, it's really up to you, but remember, you know, we don't always get these pieces in stock, so if it's something that you like, today's the day. Under nine pounds for genuine pearls, not fakes, not coated plastic beads, not painted synthetics, real pearls. They've been given the metallic coating to make, you know, the flair and the look. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, because you could actually leave those as is. Let's just try those on, Ryan. You could just leave those as is. I think originally, if memory serves correct, these were $14.95. Uh, $14.95 originally. So a great bargain is to be had now with that reduction. Under 15, well, it's, it's like a six pound saving, isn't it? Put that towards the Jasper. And quite rightly so, because they're real pearls. So, and the bigger they grow, you know, your four millimeter pearls, according to the GIA or your average, they're, they're great, you know. That's your Keisha pearl size. So growing up to 10, sometimes 12, I mean, these are the your magnificent, these take years to grow. Obviously, it's gone, a, the process has been a little bit quicker because we can see the nacer layering, but that's, you know, the journey of the natural pearl. But um, they really are substantial and therefore, naturally, pearls aren't weighed in their carat weight, are they? I know some of you know this anyway, but they're valued by their symmetry, their, their size is very important as well. Obviously, the bigger they get, the more valuable they are. And when you tie that in with perfect symmetry, uh, the increase in price is, is, is relative. Right, I don't want you to go anywhere because I've got four individual strands, I think it's four, and it's the last chance on those strands, as it were. It's the last chance on the strands. Coming up still, I'll just show you this as well, because this ties in beautifully with those pearls. It's the chocolate browns. I've got this. This is brand new today as well. And I think this looks gorgeous with the turquoise, those chocolate browns, so I might introduce that in. Aren't they beautiful? It's a Jasper again. Red Ocean Jasper, look at those patterns, aren't they gorgeous? And I'm going to bring you the last chance on our turquoise strands, the forget-me-not gemstone, right up after this. This bead box features three strands of zebra jasper and three strands of picture jasper, totalling a massive 2,210 carats and all for just £24.95. The unusual shapes and textures in this bead box are sure to bring the focus straight to your jewellery. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code DTPO12. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker are proud to introduce Lisa Pavelka Water Slide Transfers. These transfers are sure to enhance your silver and polymer clay designs. Each pack contains an extensive collection of images from Art Deco to symbols and nature print. These easy to use sheets will come with full instructions and tips for use. They are a great way to embellish all of your creations. Use alongside our border moulds and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. on Jewelry Maker, I 
find that if you're an experienced jewellery maker or new to the hobby, jewellery maker has everything for you, right from the basic findings up to the more expensive and a little bit more um, intricate um, feature beads, pendants that you can bead. I think it's a really, really lovely site. As a teacher myself, I have bought all of the basic kits for my students. You can't get them cheaper anywhere. Very comprehensive, very nicely made, um, quality goods. I really can't say much more about Jewelry Maker. It's a really good site to visit. This bead box features six strands of pearls, a mixture of white, aqua and cashmere blue colours, all for just $19.95. These genuine pearls would be perfect for a winter wedding. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code LOMG11. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. Here is a quick and easy tip to make a feature out of your head pins. Start off by threading your required bead onto a head pin. Using the tip of your round nose pliers, make a simple loop. Then continue to roll the loop down until you reach your bead. This will give you a coiled effect. Here is an example of how you could use your rolled head pins in one of your designs. Now when we launched the uh, turquoise strand, they proved very, very popular, so I really have got the last in stock, and I am talking double figures of each. So I'll take you through them all, they're all different shapes, they're all different sizes, and you can choose which is your favourite. Now, that's the only one I haven't got, darling. I've got ovals. Yeah, I've got two lots of ovals. Did you think one of them was squares, darling? I think that's where it's gone wrong. I've got flat drops. I, th I think these are the ovals and that's the rice beads. Sorry, forgive me. It's very hard to tell, isn't it? I'm going to go for my ovals. And uh, this is the discussion we're having, forgive me, um, between the shapes. These are my ovals. And it's turquoise from the French Pierre de Croix, the French coloured, not French coloured gems, it was the French stone or the Turkish stone. The Turkish stone is, is introduced, Pierre de Croix, forget me not gemstone. And beautiful, the gemstone for December, birthstone for December, turquoise. And you've got this, it's coloured by copper and iron, which gives it its greens and its blues, and that's when you'll get the difference between um, some turquoise, which is quite blue, and some turquoise, which is quite greeny blue, if that makes sense. I'm sure you've probably seen the variation. And then, when you look at it, you get these little dendritic rivers of another element called manganese oxide, which creates that patterning. And what's so beautiful about the patterning when you look at it close up is the fact that no two are the same. And this is a patterning that you'll see, for instance, in your Hauer lights. Um, it's a patterning perhaps that you'll recognize in lapis with pyrite running through it. Beautiful, very, very individual. Turquoise. Gorgeous, lovely ornate stone. I, again, been around for centuries, beautiful to carve and cut, and you can see why when you've got those patterns on there. Now, can I just say, everything we're showing you is double figures. These are the last 40 on our turquoise ovals that are eight by six millimeters, 50 carats on the strand. And if I just put it with, for instance, um, it was the, the other jasper, wasn't it? I love it with the chocolate browns. I love turquoise with chocolate browns. It's beautiful, isn't it? Those chestnut browns or with bronzite. It's beautiful as well and effortless, for instance, with black onyx. Really striking. You know, really looks the part. I think it's because it ties in with the black 
you know, the, the manganese rivers that run through the turquoise itself. So a lovely gem to accompany with. And when we had these strands, like I said, absolutely flew out because, you know, like I said earlier, you'll know that we just don't get the turquoise a lot. When's the last time, apart from when we launched these, did you see turquoise, Lou? Do you remember? Very rarely. Very I rarely. I love turquoise yeah. myself. It's my mum's birthstone. And oh, is it? December girl. Yeah, so um, I'm always trying to get hold of some. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's few and far between. Few and far between's right. Can't... I physically actually can't remember the last time I had a strand to present. I think the last time I saw it was on our sister channel in the Tuchelon range, but to physically show you a strand for you to make your jewellery, I, I honestly, I can't remember. And for the last 50 carats in these strands, with only 40 to go, 10.95, 10.95. Beautiful. Under 11 pounds. Now there's about a 60 second wait on the phone lines. I know the callers are there, so it's well worth the wait. Please stay with me. That's a free phone number just to reassure you as well, as I know the regulars know, but lots of new buyers join us all the time at 10.95. And the other ones I've got are different shapes, but I am talking about limited quantity as well. So down to last 30 of those, yep. Already been allocated to the baskets. Thank you, Dee Dee. One not to miss out on. I'll move on to my drops, my rounds, like little coins, basically. And again, I'll pick up the, the turquoise with the black onyx because it's just beautiful in terms of keeping that round shape, the symmetry of the round with the round. Isn't that beautiful? I've only got 20 of these. Would you believe it really is first come, first serve, the puffy coins? Last 20. It's another 50 carats. 14.45. The difficulty there, of course, isn't it? Because you're getting that flat surface area. If you, if you like, there's two facets front and back on that coin. Last 20. So these are proved very, very popular. Lovely colours. It's quite an electric blue, isn't it? I love it. It reminds me of another gem I've seen for like donkey's years, uh, malachite. You know, when you get the patterns yeah. in there, and it's so distinctive, and there's nothing quite like it. Beautiful. Shall we do the hearts for Valentine's? The forget-me-not gemstones. If you are making your Valentine's jewellery, you know, don't forget me. Whatever you do, then there could be nothing finer. Hopefully you got that code now, and if you are waiting on the line and you'd like two strands of the different shapes, RQGP86. Okay, the hearts, my puffy hearts. It's first of February. Once the year starts rolling, it just flies by, doesn't it? It'll be Christmas before we know Don't! it. Don't! <laughs> You're banned if you say that again, Lou. Banned! It's true, though, isn't it? Uh, what, you know, half of me's like, well, January was slow, and half of me was like, now that it's gone, well, where did it go? Does that make sense? <laughs> I know it's a really long month, but at the same time, it's like, well, where did it go? I was ill for most of it. Yawn. Uh, let's have the turquoise hearts. Are they flat? Oh, well, I suppose they're drops. I, sorry, I looked and immediately saw hearts. I'm all loved up. Um, but there is, I suppose there isn't the Cupid's bow, but they're drops. I saw hearts. What do you see? Go with the hearts. It's more romantic. No, the drops. They're called like little droplets. They look like little teardrops if I hold them up that way. If we're going to be exact. 40 carats. 12.45, down to the last 30. They'd look pretty on that, you know, that kind of style of ring that Louise made. You know, if you just um, had the head pins and just had them clustered. But they could be that ring. £12.45, I'm down to the last 30. Beautiful. Just again, just if you're just making a really simple little turquoise bracelet, they look great with the silver or the gold plated finings. You know, again, you're only using um, practically a third of the strand Incorporate that in with some black onyx, your turquoise jewellery. 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But it is the last in stock, and I love it with that, again, not just the black, but those browns and that, that jasper is just lovely. It's like leopard print. See how it just, it really injects that, um, it gives it that, that real wow, that impulse of color there, that, that, that backdrop really enlivens it. All righty, last one now. Rice beads. 12 by six millimeters. Slightly larger. And again, last in stock. So everything we've been talking about is last 40, last 30, last 50. The fifth, is that 50, darling? I can't quite read. 80. 80. So, yes, forgive me. It's the biggest carrot weight there. So, we are talking a little extra there at 15.95. The biggest carrot weight. So, we're jumping up, hence the, the leap in the price, as it were. It's really what shape you like. These are slightly larger, as you can see from the description 12 by 6 millimeters. Um, and we've got another 30 carrots in there. So, double what we had, as, for instance, in the the little rounds. Was that the wrong description for what I'm holding? Oh. Sorry, everybody. What, 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 what is the description then, darling? We'll get to the bottom of this, lovelies. Oh, we'll try and find the code for those. I'm not sure if they're just the same as the other ones. This is the, this is the distinction I was having. I thought they were slightly larger, but... Um, might be just the ones we did earlier, you know. I thought they were slightly larger, but when you look at them side by side, I think that the code, the two are the same, you know, Scotty boy, darling. Scotty, darling, I think they're two and the same. I think they're both the puff. I think they're both the, um, the ovals. Should we just bring the code on for the ovals? Because um, they look very similar in size to me, but, you know, sometimes I'd rather get a second opinion rather than tell you wrong. So uh, I'll show you the ovals again that we did. And they were 10.95. There was, you see, we've got some corner drilled and we've got some larger ones as well. So we're missing one. But anyway, just go take you back to the 50 carats there for 10.95. All right, I'm sorry for the confusion. I'm, I do apologise. Shall we do? Uh, I've got some beautiful aquamarine I want to do in a moment. Let me just show you this because March is baby next month. We're in February right now. So, um... This is an amazing, big, beautiful. Look at that with the blue tiger's eye. I'll do that. I'll do that at the end of this little section. I'm going to do the last in stock of the bronzite, which I know you loved. So beautiful with the aquamarine. And I love this shape because you've got the flat coins and you've got the barrels. I know. Isn't that lovely? So that's already working. If you had a little gem in between, you'd just see those sizes. It looks very antique. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Imagine the bronzite with some of those beautiful pearls from earlier. Those Keisha pearls. Mmm. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Beautiful and effortless. That with the turquoise as well. Just so nice. Bronzite and turquoise. You could just have those little beads in between as spaces. Or, you know, if you're going down the brown, the, the jasper's there as well. These look great as well. In this section, I've got these gorgeous coffee-coloured coins. Look at those. Ooh, love those with it. And they're beautiful. Oh, you know, and a splash of turquoise in there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
another little kit we've made but it's the last in stock of the bronze like 1300 carats it's actually not bronze in there it's colored by uh, the presence of iron and various other metallic elements in there um, they are rondelle beads 18 by 6 and 18 by 12 so we've got these barrels as you can see and the lovely coins it's nice to see that shaped together actually like that isn't it you could just have that on a pendant for a fella on a leather cord maybe a little turquoise in between yeah just really simple mm. you just have that and then for the rest of us that'll, that'll do him you see <laughs> and then we can have the rest girls ha 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 oh look at that it's like beautiful gold leaf isn't it Whoa, for that massive caraway, 1,300 carats. It's only 12.95. It's a real chunky monkey of a strand. If I put that up to give you some idea of uh, proportion. Huge. Huge, isn't it? I love those gold flecks in there. And the feeling against your skin, really cool to the touch. And you will need to put, you know, a hefty bit of old uh, beading wire, although the beading wire is so super strong anyway, but you can just feel the weight of that carrot weight as well. Looks like gorgeous gold leaf or antique marble underneath, beautifully polished. Beautifully polished. Isn't they gorgeous? And you can see it obviously on the front as well, because obviously they're on a temporary strand, but you see that on the buttons as well. Could mix that in with a splash of I've got a three strand pack coming up splash of pyrite oh yeah splash of pyrite the splash of that turquoise mmm lovely yeah now <laughs> uh, we've got coming up I will do can I just show you this aquamarine as well because I've got so limited I will do these I will do my beautiful black onyx as well. It's coming up. I've got a second new kit of the day to bring you, which we'll do right after this, so don't go anywhere. This bead box features six strands of genuine pearls, including chocolate, peacock, mushroom, and cream pearls all for just £34.95. Give your designs that classic look. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code TAMG89. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. New to Polymer Clay, then why not come and join us on our Polymer Clay for Beginners course? Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she guides you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, basic canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. You will get the chance to design and craft your own pieces, which you can then take home. During the course of the day, you will get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for just $64.95. For details of course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker are proud to present our new range of Lisa Pavelka crafting foils. These easy to use foils are a great way to create a unique look to your polymer and silver clay designs. With a wide range of vibrant colours including gold, silver and rainbow, these foils will leave your creations with a wonderful metallic coating. Use alongside our border moulds and textured stamps to add a different dimension to your clay creation. To view our full range of Lisa Pavelka products, visit our website. Um, I think Jewelry Maker, I think it's fantastic. It covers all aspects of your journey on the road of jewelry making, from beginning to intermediate to more advanced. Um, I think it's ideal for beginners particularly as well because everything is in the kit there for you from your crimp beads to your gemstones to your every finding that you need to actually 
make a set of jewellery. Hi, good morning, welcome back. Now we're going to do the last of the bundles. It took us ages to get these together. I think I've got the last 100 remaining. They are literally just five pounds to whack them in your basket. So let's do it. Because in a bundle, you get one of our little organza bags, absolutely free, and we fill it jam-packed with gemstones and it's a great way to explore uh, new gems that you haven't uh, seen before or worked with. It's a great way to have some hidden special extras for pendant making and for instance I don't know what's in here so we'll just tip it up and we'll see the magic that comes flowing out. Oh, has anything caught your eye? I can already see lava rock, which you might not have experienced. I can already see a beautiful heart-shaped white quartz. Look at that for a lovely, lovely agate. Beautiful. I've got a massive nugget of amethyst there that would look, make a great tassel. I can see some jasper there. I've got a beautiful faceted smoky quartz, some crackle quartz. I've got lovely glyptography on a flower of fluorite there. Um, little barrel there of coral. Um, rose quartz, white pearls, beautiful agate, bit of turquoise, bit of tig frosted tiger's eye, um, bit of lapis. You know, you just start to explore what's in the pot and uh, what it's doing, and uh, lovely frosted rose quartz, what it's doing there, of course, for me as well, is just making me explore gems I might not work with, gems I might not have seen, little shapes that I can play with. I've got nuggets. I've got some lovely big, bar that's like a bronzeite there or something, isn't it? Next to um, a lava rock there. So some great shapes there. Um, there's got to be close to 100 gemstones. Another little heart there, beautiful. Down to the last 100 of these, you know the price already. It's a great one. It's a great present idea for a friend who loves the jewelry making. It's a great one of open up your basket for the day. It's a great one to um, just think, do you know what, I'm just gonna have be surprised. I'm, I'll just add it to my store. It's a fun one for the kids. Little treasure hunt. What they are and stuff Exactly, as well. try and name them all. There's a few there that stumped me if I'm honest. You know, I'd have to have a go away and have a little think and just, just have a little check because before, before I named it, tiger's eye, amethyst, coral, tiger's eye, I said, fluorite, white quartz, um, beautiful agate, crackle quartz there. I've got pearl, you know, I've got maple pearl, I've got jasper. Gorgeous, just some beautiful. And what's so lovely about it as well, it's not just the gems, it's the shapes. I've got ovals, I've got rectangles. Picture Jasper there, dumbbells. I've got the little rounds. I've got chips. Who's the lady who loves the chip heaven there? Love the show on Monday. I've got pearls, everything. And uh, we're down to double figures now, £4.95. You can make pendants. You can be just creating something beautiful. You can just have them in the store and just pluck ones out. Beautiful mix there. And for under £5, you know, we'll pack that bag full. And it's like a lucky scoop. It's like a lucky dip. So great one just to add to your order. Get a couple. Just add it to your bag, because we've had them back in stock now, but, um, you know, that's it now. I'm down to the last uh, 100, and we're already down to double figures. So uh, whatever you do, make sure you got that code, and come on in, OLCR67. Don't forget today as well, we'll be announcing the runner-up and the winner on our Wall of Fame, yes. And today's challenge to Lou is actually Sarah Jane from Andover, her uh, Chosen by You selection. We've done it a bit different today. Um, and we've got another Chosen by You coming up later on as well. I've got my second new kit of the day, which I'm going to launch. I've been wearing the ring throughout the show, and I'm going to bring you a three-strand pack of that red coral and that pyrite, which we've been looking at together as well. I haven't forgotten the aquamarine. So, lots still to see. But this is a great way, great way to explore gems you haven't worked with, great way to explore shapes you haven't worked with, great way to explore, um, well, just uh, have a surprise. So to see what a gem looks like, rather than just me talk about it and see it on the show, it's very different when you hold it and touch it. It's nice to see actually what the crackle looks like close up. It's nice to see actually what that mystic coating on a pearl actually looks like or on a, on a quartz. You know, it's nice to see that. It's nice to see the chatoyancy on a tiger's eye and what a frosted one, how that differs to a beautiful polished one. Different barrels. Okay, I'm down to double figures, so for 4 95 please don't miss out. Um, is it the kit now and then we'll do my three strand pack? Let's do it. It's stepping into time. 
and I can already see Louise's designs are fabulous. Look, what catches your eye straight away? Well, I've been wearing uh, the black nuggets because there's gold-plated findings in this kit. And um, we've also got our, our jade, our mashin, our Chinese jade, and we've also got our our fire agate which really looks like you know, you know when coal's been burnt or trees been burnt and you get that frosted white or looks like those german biscuits with like a they're like half crispy and half spongy and they kind of have that coating on them 30 pieces of silver with gold 38 sorry 38 pieces of gold, uh, silver with gold plating and we've matched it up with the gold beading wire as well so let's take you through our kit oh hello Sorry, darling, I'll just move that on. You have a little look. I'll stop moving things. You can have a little look. Yeah. Beautiful. Did you like this kit, Lou? I know I'll be over to you in a minute. I did. You yeah. did. <laughs> nice what did you like about it the most? I, it's nice and chunky, actually. Chunky, yeah. <laughs> I can see some serious chunky designs over there. You've actually used the biggest in five designs. So uh, uh, she's made six designs out of this kit. I'll get the codes up for you in a moment so I can see the uh, the carrot weights, my loves. Look at these, beautiful. Put those with those dark bronze Keisha pearls or the pyrite would look lovely in this kit as well. Mm, 910 carats of fire agate. Yeah, got some lovely pyrite coming up. Look at those colors, real rich chestnut brown, real caramel gold. They range from 18 up to 31 millimetres. I love the feel of them. I love the clunk and the sound of them. I love the patterns. Look at that. Real crackled, isn't it? Like branches, like the wood, like it's been burnt, and then the white afterwards, the frosting, icing sugar on a, on a chocolate sponge. And then they're like bird's eggs as well. They're big, aren't they? And then you've got this temporary thread, which you can use as well for tassel making. Um, beautiful now we've talked taken out of that the blacks those dark blacks and we've got the the black nuggets now this is the ring i've been wearing and um made out of those nuggets with the head pins as you can see now louise will talk about that um so she's actually made seven designs i said six forgive me because i'm wearing one of them seven designs so these are medium nuggets ranging from seven to 12 millimeters and 150 carats and then we've got the jade. Now, I thought these were kind of like a pre-night colour. And these are six millimetres, 90 carats. And this is what the ring is. Isn't that lovely? So, three gorgeous strands. Fabulous. Brand new kit, step into time. And 38 pieces of silver with the gold plating. Now, remember here, we're talking precious gemstones, precious metal with the gold on there as well. That's, you know, it, it, I, I do differentiate when it's brass chain with silver color. This is genuine 95 silver with gold plating. Now you can see there, you've got a lot more. You've got 10 of the crimp beads. You've got 10 of the four millimeter balls. Two of the bolt ring class with the jump rings. 10 of the head pins and two pairs of the shepherd hooks. Fifty meters of the gold beading thread, six meters of the clear elastic, and a large and small gift bag. Now, actually, show me your ideas. You, you know, we will see Louise's ideas, but you want to make this very much, uh, uh, an, you know, uh, a let's get you involved because we've got Sarah Jane text, texting us in because we've got her chosen by you section. So what would you, let me, let me know, what would you make, we're just seeing this for the first time now because this is a brand new kit. Text me and let me know what would you do with this. Say, Fee, I'd go down the nuggety route. I love that ring. Or... Actually, I'd take one of those big fire agates, I'd, I'd create a tassel, and from it I'd have the drops of that beautiful jade. I'd uh, wire wrap one of those. Just let me know, just off the top of the head, you're looking at that. If you were standing next to me right now, what would you do? And we'll have a little readout when we go and visit Lou. 60777, let me know, because very, you know, this is about being interactive, about getting you involved. It's not just about what I say, because I talk too much anyway, quite frankly, and you've got far more interesting things to say than me. So uh, let me know what you would do with the new Step Into Time jewellery kit, and we'll, we'll put it to our Louise, but she's going to talk about her designs as well. Just, just let me know. Let me know. Start your message, James Studio. Let's hear from you. And we've got all of that gold, sorry, <coughs> on the silver. 
38 pieces, and I love the gold beading thread as well, because uh, it's a feature. It can be made a real feature of the design as well. Six meters of the clear elastic, and your large and small gift bags. Beautiful, isn't it? I've already got the bonfire agate today. Do you remember the bonfire agate earlier really flew out when we had it with the Keisha pearls? So bearing that in mind, and that we've got this big 910 carats in the kit, bearing that in mind, please don't miss out. Okay. I'm just going to have a, a, a quick glug, excuse me. You're looking at 1,000, sorry, yeah, 1,000... 150 carats of gemstone quality. Our second brand new kit of the day. I mean, we've got the browns. They look beautiful in there as well. The browns of that jasper as well, and because they're a different kind of oval. Love those. Let me think of tiger print. Make me think of my friend dressed up as Scary Spice at the weekend. Tiger print. We met two other scary, scary spices, and they were dressed in tiger print as well. Twenty-four ninety-five. Do you know what this kit should have been? Twenty-nine ninety-five, but twenty-four uh, ninety-five, and for one thousand one hundred and fifty carats, I think that's a bargain. I really do. And don't forget, thirty-eight pieces of silver with the gold plating as well. So let me know, text me and let me know what you would make out of this design. That's a free phone number, obviously it's text messaging services, your own text message price, as it were, normal rates apply to your own you know, mobile, as it were, but it's lovely to hear from you, we'll read them out. And we're gonna go see Lou in a moment, she's made uh, seven pieces of jewelry, including that lovely ring. We'll quickly talk about that ring if that's all right, because it's so comfortable, I'm not taking it off. I did forget it was there because I thought she'd only made six. I forgot about the one on my hand. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? You've just yeah. plucked one. That's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Now, let's have a look at your designs because you've made two pairs of earrings. Um, stretchy bracelet, am I correct? Yeah. And then you said they're very chunky and beautiful those necklaces are really eye-catching again if you were pitching a price on them I, I wouldn't be as low as well what would be double figures for a star the price uh, of the yeah, kit easily, alone yeah. just on one of those necklaces if I was going to be selling my wares gorgeous it's, it's nice good, to use yeah. that wire then those drop earrings I like that Lou the, yeah, the, the, it's the elastic actually oh so, yeah. the, the, the coily bit is the oh, coily yeah, bit yeah, yeah just the thread yeah yeah that's yeah. fabulous can you see those, Ryan, at, at the top? The top of that, yeah. That's the elastic, and then, yeah, she's made little um, coils out of the gold-coloured beading thread. Was, yep. that, was that difficult, Lou? Um, no, not that difficult. It just um, a crimp bead and then pass it through a couple of times. Okay. Um, and then snip the ends and then crimp, because then you don't get the ends st sticking out. But, yeah. Ah. Now, very briefly, because I've been wearing the ring, and I'm sure people will yep. have been noticing it and liking it, and... Could you just take me through how you, you know, mm. you went about it? Well, I always try and get a ring in if I can. Yes, but that's it's the only your, one your signature. Kits, actually, um, but it's it is um, it's just an elastic, even though there's a crimp at the bottom, um, which was ma basically used as a spacer. So yeah. you get the rough length that you want. Um, I actually had too many gemstones for the size I wanted, so and some head pins left. Just put them on rolled head pins, and you get a little bubbly effect at the you top. See the roll bit inside. And then you can get that little bubbly effect. So you get the extra gold on the top, which sparkles as well. Yeah, it's not that You've used uh, six of the nuggets, mm -hmm. and then you've just crimped there. That's, I've been wearing it the whole show, and it's yeah. so comfortable. The beautiful thing is, no matter what your finger size, it's going to fit, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the crimp, the crimp bead's just there to, as a decorative thing anyway. Kind oh, was it? Just to it out, but it's not actually crimped. Oh, okay. Uh, because the elastic is knotted in between the Oh, yeah, the yeah, didn't see yeah. it, because it's that clear elastic, so <laughs> visible. So that was just like a little feature. I thought there was there was a purpose to it. I don't know, I don't know what I thought really, but uh, love that. Very fashionable, isn't it? Really bang on trend again. So we've got that. We've got, oh, I'll try on the bracelet, the stretchy as well. Let's try on that bracelet. Oh, hello. See, that's just using one of those amazing yep. nuggets. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful. This blue in there as well, isn't mm. there? There's sort of a blue you could just like. It was like a duck egg blue in yeah, there. Yeah, that would go nice with the aquamarine we've got coming up as well. They're all so different. I mean, the one you just the yeah. one you've just plucked there. I mean, look at those, beautiful. And the ones you they do look like quail's eggs, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, darling, what are you going to show us? Um, I'm, I'm going to show the, the kind of dangly bits that okay. work for the earrings or the, the kind of... Okay, the attachment of the large yeah, cause it, it, there's eggs, a, as it were. Yeah, because there's just a couple of little techniques to actually get them to work, because the, the holes are obviously a bit bigger. Yes, it's a heavier you know, kind of gem to work out, with, yeah, you know, 910 out. carats. Um, there's so, a lot but, more yeah. silver in yours, more silvery blue in this strand, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, you're going to get beautiful. the different colours. I mean, of course they're, they're, they're beautiful. That would look lovely with labradorite and things like Ooh, that, with the, the yeah. greys coming through. Yeah, you, yours might just be a little bit more whiter, more yeah, blacks, more browns, a bit more silvery blues. Cause they're all natural, you see, so just goes to show you. Gorgeous. Right, sorry, darling, I interrupted okay. as usual. Um, the first thing I was going to say is if you try to put a head pin straight through them, um, nine times out of ten it will just go through or yes. it'll disappear part way up and you're not And then you're sure. stuck, yeah. yeah. So the best thing to do is to get something to anchor it at the bottom. So what I've actually done, because there was gold balls in the kit, is actually put one of the gold... Oh, sorry, guys. <coughs> one of the Excuse gold me. balls onto the head pin which again adds more gold <laughs> into it. And you get 10 of those in the yep. kit anyway, so. And then pop the head pin through. Beautiful. And then you just need to be careful because some of them are slightly longer and thinner on, you know, and some of them yeah. are slightly thicker. Just make sure you've got a fair distance above it, a centimetre at least. Um, and then what I do is just, because it's quite a sturdy gem, you can pull it to one side and then curl yourself a loop at the top. And that will actually work as you dangle. And you can just thread that on as you would normally. Uh -huh. The other way I did it is actually with the beading thread. But you have to create yourself an anchor point at the bottom. Okay. So what I actually did was create a spiral out of a head pin. So Ooh. if I show you quickly how to do that, because I don't think it's been shown for a while on air. So literally, all I've got is the head pin. And if you hold it very close to the end, both the end of the pliers and the end of the head pin itself, and I'm using the round nose pliers. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is actually just turn slowly till you get the first curl there. Mm -hmm. What I normally do is actually just get my flat nose pliers then and kink it in a little bit so that you get a slightly tighter coil at the start. Just press it ever so gently. Yeah, yeah push it slightly so it's tighter. Tight, yeah. And then what you're going to do is, using the weight of the, the metal itself, hold on to the spiral bit. This is a... And turn. I'd have to practice at this now. And literally what you're doing is forming it around what's already there. So you're holding it in place yeah, with the I'm right hand. Yeah, I'm not moving the pliers oh, I think at that's all. where I've gone wrong. I've started I'm to moving anchor the head it pin, with the so right hand and then made a yeah. mess of it. Hold it securely. And then just bend it with your... Bend it round. Ah, oh, that gives a nice tight spiral, turn doesn't it, it? And it will follow the line around. Aha. So you can do that further up. So hold it securely and then bend it round. I think that's where I went wrong. Yeah, and just do it nice and slowly. There's no need to rush when you're doing these. And these head pins are lovely and malleable, so you can really um, get a nice tight spiral on these. And then for this particular one, you want to loop at the end. So what I do is stop, again, about a centimetre, maybe just a little bit less before the end. A really pretty feature. And just turn with uh -huh. the round nose pliers again and then you've got a little loop at the top. Beautiful. That? And that was used? Yeah, it's used at the bottom of the earrings. OK, yes, oh, and, and the bottom, the, of, and the the bottom the, of the pendant. The large necklace. So to actually there, yeah. do that now, I was all you've say, got to do, because uh, you've got your loop, mm -hmm. put your jewellery thread through it. Through it. Yeah. And then we get both of those ends. And both ends through the gemstone. And pull that through. And then you just put your crimp bead onto the top. Mm -hmm. And to create your loop, what you want to do is curl the jewellery thread back through. So uh -huh. rather than it disappearing inside, because it might, hold it up a little bit with your finger, the crimp bead and then push back through Need to do this so the camera can see you will get both through i'm just going to do one for the camera okay but, but you will you will, you will definitely yeah. get um both of them through okay and just push it in you can move the crimp bead back down and then pull that end and you've got 
you loop at the top and all you do once you have both through is crimp, crimp. that and that creates... and that's how you would hang that one ah so there's two so... ways of doing it depending on what you you know what you want it mm. to look like um, some of the longer ones you'll have to do with the jewellery thread because they are too long for the head yes. pin once yes. you've got the anchory bit on it um, to still create the loop at yes. the top. So it's just a matter of playing with what you've got on your so we strand. we use the ball or we can use the coil and yeah, use the bit absolutely. beading thread. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you very much, Louise. Okay. Uh, it's proven very popular. Um, don't forget, seven pieces of jewellery. We'll get those uploaded uh, cool. on, onto, the, um, onto the website. Have we had any texts in saying, anybody telling me what they'd do with it, darling? Oh! <laughs> We've got a text about geocasting, is it called? That's what we were trying to think of, Ryan. Where you find some treasure and then you... Geo... Caching. Caching. Is that what it is? Where you Because we were talking about ordnance yeah. sur <laughs> survey maps, weren't we? <laughs> where you leave a little bit of treasure and you find a bit of treasure. And, oh, yeah, thank you for that. Thinking of the name there for you. Um, OK, but keep your ideas coming about air as well. And also, this is the time to ask Lou if there's anything that you want to know about. Because um, we were working on a, a challenge by you, Sarah Jane, and she's asked about a, an illusion necklace, and that's ongoing throughout the show. But, you know, when you see one of these kits, what, what do you do with it? Let me know, uh, because this is our second new kit of the day, and we've got our third new kit of the day to go as well. But talking of you, let's go and see this week's Wall of Fame, uh, because we've got our prize draw a little bit later on in the show as well. And let's have a look more at your designs. <coughs> Who have we got? And this is from Chris, and this is number 175. I should have looked at that first. Uh, here's my wall of fame for this week, all made with gem gems, gemstones, of course. <laughs> it does say of course. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been able to do much lately due to ill health. I oh, uh, hope I'm to get sorry. back to it soon. Well, I hope you're feeling better now and you're going to get there eventually. Loving the show as always. Hugs to all. That's Thank you. Chris and the Wirral. Hope you're feeling better, Chris. I'm loving this with the, with the bobby pin Ooh, as nice well. Lovely right brooch, with, yeah. yeah, and lovely bit of chain work there. And number 176, Tara from Smalley. Uh, Amazonite shell pearl. And she says the brooch is the first one I've made. I I hope it looks okay. I thought it was absolutely fabulous. It's the first thing that caught my eye. So uh, good luck, Tara. You are number 176. And we've got number 177 here, and this is from Jill. And this, uh, this is my entry through the Wall of Fame. It's a gem heavy long necklace made with a mixture of gems, including agate and jade. As you may be able to tell, I like pink. Well, I like pink, and I love that necklace. <laughs> I love beautiful. it as well. So striking. <laughs> this is Tracy from East Sussex in Uckfield, and uh, she's getting paid today. She's got the list ready. Uh, she says hi to everybody in front and behind the seas at JM, and it was made from red and white jade bead box. Beautiful. Love the mesh beads there. Love them. You are number 178, Tracy. Hi, and um, we've got number 179 here. Turn it that way. Uh, this is from Rita. Uh, hi there, I'm sending this photo as I made it with Druzy beads I bought some time ago and her dad turned the stainless steel rings in his lid. I'm thrilled with it as it's Aww. only my third item I've made. Isn't that fantastic? And Getting Dad involved as well. She loves JM. Oh, <laughs> Don't we all? We love your design. <laughs> and I'll do one more quick one because a beautiful mm. work here with the silver oh, and the nice chain. chain and, yeah. uh, 180. And lovely display on the flower. I feel like I should... Way round. Well, anyway. It's beautiful display there, Jan. She says it's blue kyanite and quartz beads, and it took her a long time to do, but it gave her a lot of satisfaction. It looks great on. I hope you agree. I think it looks absolutely um, beautiful. That is gorgeous, Jan. So good luck to you and your number 180. Now, Heidi in Lincolnshire has uh, texted us in. Hi, Heidi. She's morning, Fiona and Louise. Uh, the thing I was describing, thank you, geocaching. Uh, there are post boxes, little boxes with the bits in all over the place. It's great fun and you can go anywhere. Heidi from Lincoln. Do you know what, Heidi? I'm going to get involved with this when Jed's, Jed's a little bit older. Yeah, and I've, I've seen people do it on the various phones and what have you, you know, because you're logged on or whatever. No, I should have remembered because um, I do e-learning stuff and one of the oh. colleges uh, um, in Yorkshire, actually Scarborough College, do it with their do students. Do they? Yeah. My friends <laughs> took their little boy off and they were looking for treasure and then, you know, you'd mm. find it and then you replace it. It's great, great idea. Um, what's that, darling? 
Oh, we've got another one. This is Michelle in Aberdeenshire. Hi, Fee. And Louise, a geocache. Thank you. You're brilliant. I, do you know, if I ever need to, to, to know anything, just I just have to... Up, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, they, there is an app for smartphones. Going to get my wee ones doing it this summer. I'm certainly going to get the dead monster involved. Certainly going to get involved. Good bit of exercise as yeah. well. Right. Uh, quick break. Uh, we've got some brand new pieces, including the three-strand pack with the coral and the pyrite. I've got that lovely brown, beautiful sort of leopard print jasper as well and that black onyx still to come so don't go anywhere the jewelry maker wall of fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer and each week one lucky entrant will win 100 pounds credited to their jewelry maker account and the runner-up receives 50 pounds if you want to enter your design just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewellery making. Want to learn more about Silver Clay? Then why not come and join us on our Silver Clay course? Join professional art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she guides you through the techniques of handling, shaping, forming and firing silver clay. Then you'll be given the chance to design and create your own jewellery, which you can take home. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and take a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes 20 grams of art clay, use of all relevant tools, buffet-style lunch and refreshments, all for £89. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Get creative! with Jewelry Maker. This Sunday, Jewelry Maker will be launching our brand new range of luxury strands, featuring carnelian, amethyst, labradorite, moonstone and more. You can have the chance to become the owner of these exclusive gemstones. Miss it and you'll miss out. Luxury Strands on Jewelry Maker. Okay, the three strand pack. We saw that red coral with today's early bird special. Do you remember that fantastic? Yeah, look at the slabby goodness. Uh, those huge agates. And I said, look at this with the red. So I'm going to do, I'm just reminding you from earlier, just simply because I, I want to tie it in with what I was talking about. So this three strand pack is new now. That's the early bird special if you're watching the repeats to see if there's any availability of that. Um, this is the pyrite as well, which I introduced a couple of times. Gorgeous. So this is a three strand pack and it's absolutely brand, brand new. Dee Dee darling, can I just give you that? Because that's ready to go. Sorry, sweet pea. You know what I'm like. I'm, I'm only going to knock them all over the floor if it's, it's left there for too long. Thank you, darling. Yeah, he knows. Now you've got the twisted coins of the coral. You've got the lovely tubular barrels. And then you've got, they're like little... Well, treasure nuggets of gold, aren't they? They're, they're like a little, they're like a little, they're like little barrelly squares. I don't want to say square because they're not quite square, but they're proper nuggets, aren't they? Oh, there's gold in them, there hills. That's what they look like, don't they? Goldy nuggets, pyrite, antique gold. It's not gold, obviously, as you know, but it's got that lovely look of it. And this is a three strand pack, so absolute bargain. We've got our lovely black onyx to do as well. Don't forget our manager special at 12, you know, those lovely bronze goals that look so gorgeous with the Keisha pearls. So we've had the morning light. What, what's the kit we've just done, darling? Stepping into time, that pyrite would look lovely in there as well. You know, there's no reason why we can't give it that injection of the red color in there as well, is there? Now it's the three strand packs, brand new today. Again, where we have to ask ourselves, when's the last time we had the coral? For me, it's been a while, I know that. Can I just say, yeah, there's the kit, that step into time at the top. Do you remember when we had the gold plating in there as well? I don't know why it's doing that, but I just thought, oh well, <laughs> I'll go with it. <laughs>
beautiful. Love those reds with the black, you know. This is a great value because, of course, you get the three strands. You know, you could almost ostensibly start with this and start to make it kit. So you could just use those three, for instance, and then you've got a coral strand left over as well. Really rich, really inviting. The reds are so hot. You know, we had that first kit, which was a revisiting to the kit with those more sort of cerisi pinks, you know, with the picture Jasper in. And um, there was limited availability that we did earlier on this morning. And this is real pillar box red. This is real bright red, beautiful, beautiful uh, bright reds. Now we'll be bringing you the code up in a moment. Do not fear. Um, it is, I know what it is, it's XGP045. It's 260 carats approximately, and it's XGP045. So the carat weight is simply referring to the pyrite, because obviously the coral you can't really weigh as a carat weight necessarily. XGP045. We'll be bringing you a price in a moment. I can tell you right now, it's a bargain. Eleven ninety-five, and it's new in. Just thinking of those hot reds again for Valentine's. And it was something Tina suggested to me. You know, could you just pass me the bicones, the amethyst there, uh, purple and, and red? I would never have thought of, but uh, one of our guest designers suggested it to me, and now I'm totally sold on the idea. Now I'm absolutely totally sold on the idea. When, when somebody else suggests it or plays with it or says, you know. That end of the red heading towards the orange. Because yeah. Because orange and purple are opposite on the colour wheels. On the colour wheels. So that's yeah. why that purple and green. Right, I get it. Yeah, OK. Because I, I, think, I think that looks lovely. Put it with some amethyst that Louise is working with today as well. Have an explore. The red with the turquoise from earlier as well. Beautiful. Three strand pack. We have not had coral in quite a while. Thank you, beautiful. We really haven't. So again, it's like anything, we'll get, we'll have it in, but no guarantees, we'll get it back again, you know. You've got to be getting it there and then. Because, I, I, you know, I say the same on our sister channel. I, sorry, I have a little fluff on my face. I worry in case, you know, you kind of think, well, probably like me, I can, I can get a bit, you know, oh, we'll, we'll have this in again. But actually the reality is there's no guarantee that we will. And especially if you are, you know, a professional jewellery maker and you get requests Callers are there on the phone, bit of a 30 second wait, but that's all. And it's a free phone number. So 11.95 today, one PMP all day. Love the shapes as well. Those barrel shapes are just a bit different, aren't they? It's not something we see a lot in the strands and the irregular sort of, they're almost like a twisted coin. They're just not quite the oval there. There's sort of some irregularity to large nuggets, I suppose we'd call them. And then I love these sort of more regulated nuggets of the pyrite. It's the only bit of pyrite we've had today, actually. The first coral we've seen for quite a while. Sort of see the coral patterning in there, can't you? Quarter of the stock already been allocated, uh, which means we started with ample as well. So plenty of opportunity there for you watching on the repeat. Um, that lovely red ocean jasper. Well, I keep calling it brown, but it's not it's kind of a mix, isn't it? So let me do that for you now. I had it with the Keisha Pearls from earlier. I just thought this looked beautiful. See what you think. Yeah, I just thought it tied in with those copper colours. That beautiful. Were you quick enough to get your Keisha Pearls earlier? You know, that I tied it in with and um, that, that bonfire fire agate, which absolutely flew out. Oh, lovely goodness there. Love this. I wonder if we look on the close-up on this. There we go. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? Would you agree? Do you think that looks beautiful? Just have a look at the close-up of the pattern. Some of them are like zebra print. Uh, some of them are like leopard skin. So that's sort of more of a terracotta red. Oh, speckled. I love that one. That's a gorgeous one. Then sort of more of a pink and a silver and ready brown and ooh, sort of mottled and like little pigments there. I just think it's really pretty. And then when you look up close, you really see those patterns. What's that, darling? We're only starting with double figures, boo! But if we're quick to act, we'll be okay. I think that's one of my favorites as well. That reminds me of 
um, the horizon in a good old fashioned Western like True Grit, where you have the big old mountains and the big old, there's another name for those. I won't be pestering the viewers because bless them, geocaching. I won't forget that again. Well, I will, you know I will. <laughs> Next month I'll be asking about it. Um, you know where they're separated and in the horizon you can see the big old mountains and then the sun's setting. And you've got John Wayne riding through on his horse. Crazy price. Crazy price. Coming out your way. Look at all the patterns, they're beautiful. Oh, there we are, John again on the horse. What do you see? Such, that's like a lovely paisley. Look at that one. $7.95. That's all we're asking for. $7.95. That's a beautiful paisley pattern, isn't it? Really lovely. Ooh, Ooh I like that one as well. Seven. I think they look better on the close-up because you can see clearer. Clearer? <laughs> clearer and clearly. That was a new name. Clearer. Uh, you can see clearer the, 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 the lovely patterns and the colour of it, actually, because I said brown and I think that was a bit of an anomaly because it's more of sort of a plum reds in there. Goals. Just a bit different. Down to double figures. Down to double figures. Lovely with the Keisha Pearls. Fabulous with the manager special. Lovely with a bit of smoky quartz. I'll do the black onyx after this as well. I'll give you a quick flash as well of the manager special at 12 because it's quite spectacular. While you're looking at the close up, I'll just get it set up because it's absolutely unmissable. Absolutely unmissable. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you can hear me rattling, can't you? There's a lot in it. $7.95, and it still gives you room to spare for our manager's special at 12. There we go. Oh, it's a bundle. Oh, it's a Mexican fire jamboree, that one. Beautiful. Okay, uh, let's do the black onyx, yes? And I will bring you, after that, I will bring you that beautiful aquamarine. I've got it here by my side. And I think it looks gorgeous with the uh, black onyx. Let me put those two together, see what you think. Mmm, beautiful. So I will bring you that aquamarine. I'll do that after this, because otherwise I'll forget. Now, this is the black onyx. We've held it up several times. Great staple of your jewellery making. Louise will tell you that as well. I mean... I'm sure if you've already made lots of jewellery, you'll have used the black tourmaline, the black onyx, the black... You'll have used the black agate. You'll have used these gems over and over and over again. It's a very staple piece, but it's a lovely cut, this one, isn't it? Do you ever have enough, Louise? <laughs> you can never have enough. Exactly. <laughs> Especially with the black strands, because they're always a great foil. They're always a great staple. Get them in there with um, those lovely big... Man with the lovely big early bird special we had this morning. There's nothing that they don't go with. Lovely with the silver chain, the rose quartz, the pearls. Just beautiful. Lovely with the reds. We've just seen it with the coral. Lovely with the blues, the browns, the greens. And there's some really pretty faceting. They're, they're just the perfect shape, little button shapes. They're, they're the smarty shape, aren't they? I know there's other sweeties, like your minstrels and your revels. But these are faceted. Uh, so we've got a lovely luster. 12 millimetres, so a little bit bigger than a centimetre. Massive 200 carats of black onyx. They look pretty with those green... Well, they do, because I've got them wearing them, aren't they? If you wanted something alternative to the nuggets in the Stepping Into Time kit. I remember the name! I'm so proud of myself. What song? Oh, Step In Time. I'm not singing that. Mary Poppins song. You sing it, Chloe. Your suggestion, you come out here. I can't remember the first kit. What, what was that called? Morning... Shooting Star. Shooting Star was our first kit. But back to my onyx, my beautiful black magic of the gem world. That beautiful layered gem, fabulous gem, takes its name. Oh, my word, £9.45 takes its name from an old uh, Greek word uh, meaning fingernail, meaning claw. Mm. I know, it's 
bizarre. Gorgeous. The black onyx. Because apparently nothing from a goddess or a deity can die. So when Cupid was naughty and was cutting off Venus's fingernails, this is what turned into onyx. Nine pounds forty-five. So a great one. And the nice thing is, if you are making your jewellery and if you do sell your jewellery or you're giving it to a friend, a lot of people will recognise onyx as a gemstone. Probably more so than even your agate, because that's the one you see gold signet rings with onyx in, don't you? You see gold onyx rings in a lot of high street stores. You know, it's probably more recognisable, actually, as a gemstone than even, you know, your, your beautiful agate. I mean, they're all part of a similar family there the microcrystalline quartz family, the Chalcedonies, but they, um, it's more recognisable, I think. It's one that we'd all, oh yes, onyx. Nine pounds 45 for the entire strand. I mean, that would make just a really pretty, just one of those in the middle, wire wrapped. Make a really pretty ring. I saw some, we're talking of the CBD beads earlier, uh, earlier today with Lou. Um, the other week there, uh, we were talking about Put the CD beads just around the gemstone. I saw that on one of the Chosen by You challenges. You know, just having like a little, oh, like a halo just around the outside of one of the little buttons that were that shape. That worked well as well. And that's just using two for a pair of earrings. So it can go a long way. Good availability, so please give us a call on those repeats. Can I do my Marine? Yeah, I do, because I'm just dying to do it. I can't stop. I'm March babies. I know we're on the first of the month, pinch month, first of the month. Um, but the aquamarine is sensational. It's a high-end strand. And we had uh, the the one of the Wall of Fames earlier. There was a lady saying, you know, she's getting in more into the high-end strands now. And then after this, I'm going to go over to do the Chosen by You section. And I can see the jewellery, and I'm already wanting it. Now, I've only got double figures of this aquamarine, the last 40. So for March, for, you know, for a real special gift for a March baby like myself, this is your chance, because the chances are there won't be any aquamarine come March. It's just the way it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I know we've had some recently, but there's been months go by when we haven't had any, so don't risk it. This is the time to get your aquamarine and just look at the shape, look at the size, look at the carat weight. 310 carats of aquamarine. There are certain gems like your beryl family which are just even rarer still. So this is a really big carat weight but not to be overestimated. It will be a little bit more considered but when you consider what you're getting we can go halves. Graduated individual irregular faceted nuggets. And you only need a couple with some pretty pearls. There's a pair of earrings, even just one. There's the pearl of March baby earrings. Maybe just a few with some slipping some little gold balls in between there for a necklace, put it with some white quartz or some mystic quartz, pour some white pearls, beautiful. You only need a few, and the barrels, you know, this is why you've got some of the most expensive gems in this family. You know, they're far rarer than your beautiful onyxes, your agates, that's not a criticism, it was just a, you know, an observation. We're talking one of the most expensive gemstones, aquamarine, morganite, emeralds, big spike. We don't even see it on our sister channel. You know, this is just one of the rarest beryls out there. Your goshenite, your heliodor, you know, you're, you're talking about an iron-rich gemstone. The, beryl, the beryl family, the beryllium, which is normally very clear and white and then these waterfall blues. Now, obviously we're not going for the clarity here, but we know we've got a big carat weight, so it's the offset, isn't it? We're getting lovely blue. We've got a bit more inclusions, but not in any way spoiling it. It's just making it more of a cloudy blue, isn't it? Now, 29.95, and that is a solid, solid aquamarine necklace. I'm down to... 20 or so, so please, I, I'm not trying to scaremonger, but I, I really meant it when I said, chances are when March comes around, and I'm the beginning of March, so, you know, say if someone was, you were making something for, for my birthday, that's, that wasn't, honestly, that wasn't a big fat hint, but if you were, you'd have to do it now, because I'm right at the beginning of March, you can't be waiting for March for more Rackham Rain, we won't have any, that'll probably be the way, honestly, that wasn't, I know I hint a lot about <laughs> earrings, and anything yeah, to do with Elvis. <laughs> That wasn't, it wasn't. I was really going down the route. Because uh, March, February and March for me for birthdays, well, forget. I might as well just, I might as well set up camp in Hallmark or, you know, get me cards in Asda or Tesco's. Or, do you know what I mean? It's just birthday after birthday after birthday. Post office loves me, Donald. I am. I'm never out that, that February and March. 
29.95 I'm down to 10 I think now so well done to you congratulations because I'm I can see you agree with me that is an absolute bargain and a beautiful beautiful high-end strand with a mighty carrot wave okay I'm gonna leave that with you because I'm gonna bob over to the desk and have a little look at chosen by you Likey, this is beautiful. Who was our designer? Lou, it was you. You did that was amazing, isn't it? So you not only had the challenge today, you've done this one. Oh, I love it. Who's the lucky lady or gentleman? Uh, this is Christine in Milt in New Milton. Christine in New Milton. Well, Christine in New Milton. Let's look. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this necklace. Love the chain. Love the little bead caps there, the silver stars, silver ovals. We've got some beautiful, um, if you like, this, the, 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 well, I don't know if they're the onyx or the agate. I'll find out now in a moment. The black onyx. The three strand pack. A bargain bundle, I think this is part of, because I've got pearl and I've got agate. And oh my word, actually, the morganite was in this. <gasps> oh, you lucky girl, Christine. Morganite was in that the one we just looked at. And look at this, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Lovely bit of wire work there. Look how the, um, the gold beading wire has been used. That is beautiful. We've come up trumps here, Louise. And look at this little bit of a cluster there. Do you know what I'm missing? And this isn't a criticism. Where's the ring? <laughs> Where's the ring? There's always a ring if Louise has designed it. Not to worry. Look at this necklace. The red and black bargain bundle was used. So that was your onyx and your agate and your red agate. You've got your bicones, you've got your rounds. That is beautiful, isn't it? Just threaded on, really stylish. Doesn't that work beautifully? Lovely shapes and colours there, bonfire colours. Match with a pair of earrings. Good, good, good. They're pretty, really pretty. And then look at these. So we can keep, it's almost like two looks you've done. So you've done two different looks there with our reds and our golds. And then for an evening look with the hematite and I can see the morganite there. And these little silver, they're like little silver cyber beads, are they? Create a little triangle, I love them. So that's two very different looks there. This is beautiful as well, this, this gorgeous little footprint at the bottom there with the appetite, is it the appetite? The appetite. Yeah, isn't that lovely? So, these are all going to Christine and New Milton. And what we ask you to do every day is simply to choose 10 components that you would like to see incorporated in a design or designs, because it's really up to our guest designer to use as much of the pieces as she can um, to come up with something creative. And then you win them absolutely free. So we had the black and red bargain bundle, which included the faceted onyx and the agate. No, she just says, good morning all, says Christine. If you're watching, good morning to you. And uh, this is what you chose. So this was the bargain bundle we've got the code for up on the screen right now. Um, did it have the pearl in it, honey? No, just these, well, just, look at this, look at this. Six strands of your red agate and your black onyx. There's your code. Now, I've got another bargain bundle later on. It just goes to show you how fantastic... The offers are, I mean, six strands, even if you were talking 10 pounds each. How much was that black onyx we've just done, darling? 9.45, there you go. So that was a good guesstimate for uh, a strand. So even if you went down the route of 10 pounds each, there's 60 pounds ready to be spent straight away. So a bundle, when we bundle it together, we're always trying to think of the savings. So that was one part. Then the three strand pack was with the shell pearl and the hematite, lovely, Honey blondes, not dissimilar to the colour we had in our first new kit of the day, Morning Star. The 
the Shell Pearl, lovely honey blonde, and I adore the hematite donuts. So if you're loving any of the designs, you want to emulate them, you think, gosh, it's nice to see these uh, pieces that you've chosen, actually, because it's the way in which the gems work with each other that I love as well, seeing that. Because, again, it's not necessarily what I would have necessarily thought the top of my head to put together. Beautiful. $9.95. Under £10. OK. That's a bargain, isn't it? The code at the bottom of the screen there. And then we've got the Morganite. Ooh. Have we got any of this in stock, darling? Nine left, so I'll, very, I'll be very brief. Doesn't surprise me. Having just spoken about the Aquamarine, but this is a higher grade, I'm sure you appreciate it. It's, it's you know, the Morganite is even more in demand. Those very feminine pinks of this beautiful beryl. It's double A graded. Very, very special indeed. Love that little bracelet. So in the bracelet, actually, interestingly enough, just goes to show you, you know, a strand like this can go so far because uh, Louise has incorporated it in the necklace and the bracelet, and I dare say there was left over because that's just using five of them with the hematite and the black onyx. So you don't have to go for broke, so it really does go a long way. It is a bit of an investment, but we are talking, again, one of the most recognisable, one of the most expensive gems, and this is double A grade. So if you are interested, I mean, you could just use two of those, again, like, and I, I just say two, I'm not always obsessed with the earrings, but it is just about using just the two, and, you know, that is a pair of Morganite double A graded earrings, and a very precious gem, very precious gem. Callers on the phone. I don't blame you. You don't want to. Be, it's good to go halves with somebody, isn't it? Because you can see just half a strand. Look how much you are getting in half a strand. I'm just. I'm going to count it up for you. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. If I match it like for like, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty each, roughly. I think that is. I've corrected. So I think there's forty on a strand. So 20 each, you're not even, you're basically talking just over two pounds per Morganite. So if you were to buy a pair of Morganite earrings, would they be, say, should we say for argument's sake, four pounds 50? I don't think so, if you're just using two. Not with Morganite, and you've seen our beautiful Morganite on our sister channel as well. Very precious indeed. So when you add it up like that, so go halves with a friend, that's 20 each, go a long way. Anyway, I'll move on, because these are the cyber beads that, uh, you chose. Nice to see these, because we don't see these used very often. And there's only two of those Morganites left, so if you are interested, those strands left, I only had the last nine, then please, please, please jump on the phone lines now so that you don't miss out. These are the cyber beads. You get, I think you get 20 in a pack. Not cyber coins, sorry. These are the spacer tubes, sorry. Forgive me, I'll get over to the cyber beads in a moment. So, smooth tubes. And then my cyber beads, which you saw in the kit. There are the little cyber beads there on the end. I'll just show you that because I haven't got any loose ones to hand. So those little, they're like oval, puffy ovals. Other one on the screen there. All righty, so well done and congratulations to Christine. And then, you know, anything else that you've missed, you know, just check out our website. Just check out the website because we haven't had time to get through all the codes because we've got them on there as well. You know, and the chain was beautiful. Love the chain. That's DBAR79. Beautiful, beautiful chain, that. All righty. So, uh, well done, Christine. Set, keep sending them in. We just simply choose one a day. What we've done today as well is we've got Sarah Jane's and we've decided to pick that as the challenge for Louise in the live show. She's been challenged up to the hilts today, isn't she? Uh, we'll see how she's getting on with that after the break. And we'll see how, if she started or started thinking about the illusion necklace. I know you like Sarah Jane. And uh, we've still got to announce our winner up. Our winner up? <laughs> our runner up and our winner on this week's Wall of Fame. Do you want to be a part of Jewelry Maker? Do you think your creativity can help inspire others? Then why not get involved and send us your ideas? All you have to do is go to our website or use our catalogue and select up to 10 components. We will then get one of our guest designers to make up the jewelry from the products you have selected. Send your suggestions to chosenbyyou at jewelrymaker.com and we'll do the rest. If your ideas are selected, we'll send the made-up jewellery to you.
New to wirework? Why not come and join us in our Wirework for Beginners course? Join guest designer Louise Jacobson as she takes you through all the basic techniques of using wire. People would benefit from coming on the Wirework course. Uh, because it's an ideal opportunity to actually experiment without feeling the pressure of actually um, buying things and then not knowing how to use them straight away. You will learn a variety of skills, all of which will help you to become more confident when using wire in your jewellery. During the course of the day, you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studio, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes a selection of colours and different gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, lunch and refreshments, all for just $69.95. For details on course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewellery Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewellery making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95. Neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed Jewelry Maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. Hi, welcome back. We're going to have a catch up with Louise, who was given Sarah Jane's uh, Chosen by You challenge today. We thought we'd do it a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I can see an illusion necklace in the making as we Indeed. speak. Now, Sarah Jane's very fond of purple and the green. Beautiful choices of amethyst and fluorite and hematite and mash and jade and a two strand pack of the Chinese jade and some peridot. I think that sums it up. Um, <laughs> and you've already made three beautiful pieces and you've yeah. gone for the cerise uh, Chinese jade. With the fluorite, green, yeah. yeah, three strand pack of the fluorite, and then the amethyst. If I just lean past you there, beautiful, nice bit of coil in there. Yeah, I had to get a bit of wire work in there. Yeah, really, didn't I? nice bit of silver <laughs> cap work there as well. Beautiful, very very stylish. And just one of the buttons there of that frosted. Well, one either side there, and that, that is gorgeous. And then we've got this matching set here using the gold for me. Oh, and you've done it. You've done yeah. the little, <laughs> you've done the little wrapping of the three strands of the beady beading there as well. So those earrings are gorgeous. And then beautiful. You did say you were going to do that. Yeah. So that's using the three strands of the uh, well, one of the he one of the uh, peridot in the middle, and then yeah. the other two are the Chinese. Yeah, and then the bells made out of the peridot as well. The, oh yes, look, the little bale, <laughs> peridot as well. Isn't that beautiful? It's so effective. It does take time, but you, have you, what did you use for that? Is that beading wire? It's the gold beading. Is yeah. it? Yeah. How did you...? Well, you just keep looping it through. So there's, um, it's gone through three, four, five times through and then the main crimped. bead. Yeah. Wow, that's so tidy. It's gorgeous, <laughs> Lou. really does. So there's three pieces already ready to wing their way to Sarah Jane. And I can see the <laughs> And then I've been spending startings. a bit of time doing this. <laughs> well, it, it does take a bit of time, doesn't it? Yeah. How, do, how are you, can I ask, because mm -hmm. the illusion necklace obviously yeah. is the illusion of them just um, hovering. Being there, yeah, 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 just being there. Now I know for some designers they glue. Mm -hmm. um, because are I'm using the in... monofilament, I'm using the illusion bead technique. So Right, excuse me, I'm just going to cough for a second. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I demoed this um, last time I was on, so, um, but effectively you loop through, you push through the bead, loop back, tuck the end through and it pulls into a knot and then they are secure in there, they're not ah. going anywhere. Um, and all but the seed beads, you can actually adjust beads slightly and the knot ends up inside the bead so you don't even see the knot. 
if, right. I, if I shuffle that one back so down. So you just, say again, because I was having a cough. The knot's there. Yeah. I'll show you how to do All it in through, a second. And around, yeah, and yes. Literally just <coughs> wiggle it a little <coughs> bit and the knot's now inside, so that's really secure. Ah. So I can show you quickly how to do one, because I've got one more yes, to put on this do, one. Yes, if, if that doesn't so, you know, spoil your nice no, no, design. No, that's fine. Just grab one of them. Okay. One of the nice so, um, Yeah, so I'm going to put um, an amethyst on here. It could be any of them. So literally, put the monofilament through the bead. Get the bead to the position where you want it on there mm -hmm. and hold it with your fingers. Push the end back through on itself. Oh, it's like a luggage tag. Kind of, yeah. Then backing up through it. Yeah. So you push that through. And then what you want to do is try and get this loop here as small as you can. Ooh, okay. Because wherever the end of that loop is, that's where the bead is going to finally sit. It's hard to see, isn't it? Because it's so it invisible. Is, yeah. And then you push that monofilament through. So the, the end you've just gone back through the bead with goes through that loop. This is what Bee was saying. Yep. She needs to work against a dark background, otherwise you can't <laughs> see the monofilament. Um, one tip if, for people, um, it's been said before, but just paint the end of it with a little bit of oh, coloured nail genius. varnish. Oh, genius. I didn't know that. Yeah, yes. coloured nail varnish genius. on the end. Um, you can do that. I only had clear in my back, so that would have been a bit rubbish. Oh, darling. <laughs> so you've got that there. And then um, push it back through that loop that's been created oh. right down the side. Got all a bit of fingers and thumbs, especially when I'm near the end. So we've gone and through then, and then down yeah, the so side. Yes, you've created a loop and then you create like a double loop there. Yes, I understand. And then when you pull, yeah. that's how you create that knot. And then you just slide the bead slightly and the oh, knot's now hidden inside and that's, that's not fantastic. going anywhere. That is so clever. So simple. Now you've done, you've started with I've done four. four. This is the fifth strand. I've just fifth, got a couple sorry, more yeah. to put on here. Beautiful. And um, I've just been roughly grabbing the colours I wanted. Yeah. And then when I had a few, I started laying them down so that I didn't have blocks that were too yes, heavy. Yes, clumps of Yeah, so just... I, I, I did three pretty random and then laid them down for the fourth <laughs> and fifth so I could get a nice My balance dear. of colours. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So, I think it's going to be tremendous. A couple more beads and I'll fasten it together with a clasp. And what will you do with the clasp? Just crimp them all together? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably crimp it actually. I did the one last week with seven strands and managed to get those all through and back through the crimp. So, so five strands should be no problem at all. Fabulous, fabulous. So Sarah, if you're out there watching, this is what's happening. Text us in, see what you think so far. Do you like it? Should we, <laughs> should we send it to you or shall, or shall I keep it? Uh, let us know. Uh, it was great to hear from you earlier. And she's so excited, she's glued, so I'm hoping she's watching us right now. So uh, let us know what you think. Are we going in the right direction with this, do you like? It was very flattering to say that she likes my designs as well. Exactly, so. <laughs> yeah. She's very excited because yeah. of you, isn't it? It's just the look of the drawer, isn't it? Yep. Um, I'd be very excited as well. Beautiful designs and, and well done to Christine as well, who's uh, got the other chosen by you today. So we're going to uh, get ready now because we're going to do... Uh, the manager's special, which so works with those Keisha yeah, pearls, that bonfire agate, the peanut brittle earlier. <laughs> uh, so don't go anywhere, you will not want to miss this. It's a bargain. It's the colours. They simply light up the room. They simply imbue you with a sense of warmth and you have this nice feeling inside and you just, oh, you look at it and you start to think, that is gorgeous. And again, I'm just thinking of the colours of green, of black, of navy blue. The way in which these six have been put together is beautiful and we've got some lovely gem types and shapes to work with as well. So let's give you the full, full look of our manager's special today. And I've got to say, you are making an absolute gigantic saving of about £20 just under, basically. Sandy terracotta reds and golds and bronzes. Can you see why I picked up the Keisha Pearls, the three-strand pack, and put it with them? Because I just thought that was irresistible. Let's introduce you to them one by one. And I'll have those pearls on the close by so you can just see how perfect they are because they were my absolute steal of the day as well. So I'm going to start with, uh, it's the Jasper, darling. These look like the 10 millimetre rounds. Not the Picasso, the other one. Red Jasper, yeah. These are the 10 millimetre rounds because I've also got Picasso in there as well. So these are 300 carats. Then I've got my Saucer Woods. Oh, they feel beautiful, light as a feather. 15 by 9 millimetre, the red saucer wood beads. Then I've got my Picasso 10 millimetre Jasper, and I've also got my Picasso 4 millimetre 
Jasper. Beautiful. Then I've got another one of the wood beads. Now these feel like a good 14. Are they 14, darling? 15, 15. And last but not least, drop carnelian nuggets. How beautiful, how gorgeous are those six strands? They're eight by five to 15 by nine millimeters there. So it's a six strand pack. Now you can see straight away with those colors why I said, oh, I know, those Keisha pearls from earlier. Aren't they beautiful with it, do you think? Do they work? Just think, here is jewellery to... Oh, it's sensational, isn't it? Lou's already got the code written down. Uh, it's a manager special. Now, this could be what you've been waiting for. I know we've... Uh, I did show it earlier because I just thought it's just too irresistible with the Keisha pearls, with the bonfire Jasper that absolutely flew out. Fantastic if you added the early bird special with all of this as a big backdrop, you know, backdrop. Those big black, the jewellery you could make. You know, the early bird special, that big black slabs of the onyx. The agate, sorry, I should say. Yeah, it looks so dramatic, isn't it? We've already got such lovely dramatic shapes. We've got coins, we've got rounds, smaller rounds, 10, four, at four millimeter. Uh, saucers, I should say, rather than coins. You've got these, these feel so beautiful. That and the blue tiger's eye. If you were to buy these all individually, they would be £37.20. £37.20 individually. Now, I've already given you a big juicy hint as to the savings. So you've already got a big fat hint as to the price. You've got enough in the, in the saving of this bundle to have the three strands of the Keisha Pearls and still have some money left over towards the postage and packaging because you only pay it once. There is enough of a saving in these six strands to get those pearls and still have some money left over. So massive saving. Just over £37 if you were to buy them separately. And don't they look gorgeous together? Do you think they look gorgeous together? Do you think they work? Do you think they look beautiful? You know, you just slip in a bit of that black on it she got earlier. Oh, just heavenly. Massive saving of around £20 coming your way. But make sure you're dialing, make sure you're on those phones right now. I just love the shapes. It's being made available on the website as I speak. It's a free phone number to dial. You've got the wood, the carnelian, uh, the Picasso and the red jasper there. We're going to see callers coming in. This is brilliant because I don't want you to miss out. What's so lovely about these six strands, Lou, would you say? Um, they, they're unisex, really, so yes, you could actually true. use it for men's jewellery, mm -hmm. for like, they're the really beautiful the for the summer, if, you get, if you've got some of that turquoise, Ooh. that'd look amazing with it for the summer. Yes, um, the turquoise, there's, there's something so sunny about I'm that colour. I'm actually tempted to get it myself, I got a couple of the wood bundles um, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so, Mr. Um, wood bundles? Yeah, they were brilliant, bargain. <laughs> That's it, rub it <laughs> in, the big wooden hearts and everything. But, no, um, yeah. I missed the wood bundles, that's the trouble, if you miss it, you yeah, miss it. Yeah, no, I only just got them, so... Oh. And, I happened to be watching live that day, but just really versatile and you can mix them with your, you know, your precious gemstones and everything, even the wood. And you, the you can see there they do. Yeah. yeah and they just work. something different. Yeah. Now I'm lamenting the fact that I missed wood bundles there a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Lou just happened to be watching. Yeah. Clearly I was not. So that's my own fault. So just, you, you know, who can watch every, you know, sometimes no. we can't watch every day or, you know. Price come on your screen right now. So whatever you do, don't miss this because you've got the wood and you've got the Jaspers in there and the Carnelian. $17.95, a saving basically of £20. <coughs> Excuse me. A saving of £20. That's why I said, you know, get the Keisha Pearls. You know, you've still, actually the Keisha Pearls with that saving and your postage and packaging is all paid for. Have the lot today. Oh, the jewellery that could be made. It's making my mouth water. How much were the Keisha Pearls again? Were they 12? I thought they were 14. 12 95 for that three-strand pack of Keisha Pearls. So there you go, £20 saving. You've got your postage and packaging as well. And still money, but that's if you decide to put the saving towards something else today. I don't blame you. 
That is, please promise me you'll get this. When you see this, these golden sunny colors, these reds, these horizons of sunset golds, the, the Picasso Jasper in there is beautiful with its dark greens and okras and the carnelian. I mean, precious carnelian. We've had our red agate, but our precious carnelian is even more precious. That, I mean, I straight away, I'm picking this up and I'm putting it with my black onyx because those two rock. We've just seen something similar in Christine's Chosen by You, haven't we? In Loose Designs with some gold and pearl. And these saucers, I mean, these shapes are so fun. And then put it in with core, cool, I mean, just those three. The price we're looking at right now is the price of a three-strand kit, isn't it? With a little bit, put a fiver on, okay? For some silver findings. Yet you're, you're not stopping there. This is your own kit that you make up and you add to it another three strands shapes of four or 10 and 15 and where else would you get six strands for 17.95 jewelry maker that's where come on now get that lovely black onyx because that just ties it all in sumptuously were you lucky enough to get the bonfire oh mm. it hurts it's so beautiful down to the last how many of those that was very popular we so 16 of those left, if you're quick to act. Oh, I've got some lovely caramel golds as well, of, the, of these browns coming up as well. These are, these are beautiful, look at these. If you're just thinking, actually, let's just cool those searing tropical temperatures down with some caramel golds. I mean, I'm thinking these three now. Let's pop these three together, ooh. It's just me, yeah, feel the loveliness. This is such a great bargain bundle. It's just sent, sent, put it with, did you get earlier? Did you get earlier that lovely, lovely, lovely? It was like a, what was it called? It was the Jasper, it was like a, I can't remember, red or something it was called. With those leopard skins and I saw John Wayne on the horizon, do you remember? That looks lovely as well, another different shape. They, they are kind of, that, do you know what? They are autumnal, but they're not also. Because I str straight away, I started to think of sunsets and tropical horizons when I saw these. So although I know they are autumnal goals, I was thinking of sunsets and sunrisings, and I was off in the tropics. I was in the Caribbean. I was there with my cocktails as usual. Well, I say as usual, like I go to the Caribbean every day. Uh, no, in my mind, in my dreams, I was. Beautiful. S huh? Saving of almost, <laughs> excuse me, 20 pounds. Beautiful. Let me have a quick swig of gin. Oh, it's just sensational. Get the Keisha pearls as well. I'm very bossy about this, aren't I? I just think they work so well, Lou, don't they? You can cool it down with some mint fresh fluorite, black onyx. Are you? The Dark Lord is going to buy this for your mum. Does your mum do the jewellery making, Bruce? She does. Yeah, are you thinking, because Lou said quite rightly, you know, the unisex jewellery, is it because you want your mum to make you something? Yes, he says. There's always an alternative <laughs> motive, isn't there? It's very sunny for you, Bruce, being the Dark Lord, darling. This is very sunny colours. You know, I think you'd be more along the, the, the darker, you know, the blacks and the greys. He's been seduced by the colours, he says. It's the new, it's the new Dark Lord for 2012. 17.95, our manager special of the day. I think that's one of the best bundles I've ever seen. Certainly one of the most beautiful. Carnelian. Take me through the carrot weights, Scotty boy. Go on, darling. I know we won't have it for the wood, but take me through. For the smaller Picasso Jasper, 40 carats, four millimeters. For the 10 millimeter, 260 carats. The red Jasper, 300 carats. So that's 600 carats collectively just for the Jaspers, for those three strands. And then my Carnelian, 260 carats. So 560 carats plus our two wood strands there as well. Beautiful. I can definitely say it is proving very, very popular. In the live show, half the stock's been allocated, but we started with a big quantity because we wanted everybody on the repeats to be successful as well. But don't rest on your laurels. Beautiful jewellery makers because there's been a huge uptake. And I can see why it really is utterly beautiful. Even if it's just the one thing you buy today, because you've got six strands in there. Treat yourself. Keisha pearls, black onyx. 
Oh, it's just heaven. Look at the gem types to explore. Last 60 or so as well of the scoop. You know what? Given that saving of £20, put £5 towards a lovely scoop so you'd have the lovely surprise of these fantastic six strands and you'd be questioning yourself how on earth did they do it and then get us a little scoop. Can't promise you when we'll have that again, you see. So it really is about grabbing those for a fiver. Jam-packed with got to be close to 100 gems in there. There's, there's my kit. Who knows the pendants I'll find in there or the extras. You got statement pieces out of that with some of these gorgeous strands. They're all gorgeous strands. They all work so well together. Do you know what I want to put with it? Our brand new Kambaba Jasper as well. Look at this. Let me put this with my beautiful... Look at those. There we go. There's another kit. Doesn't that look lovely? It ties in so beautiful with the Picasso Jasper. You know, it just tones down those really sunny colours and the reds there. How beautiful is that? My, my Moss Jasper, my Kambaba Jasper. It's coming up soon. Just bear that in mind. It looks so good with the new with the new six strand bundle. That's lovely. Put it towards that Kambaba Jasper. Gorgeous. Just picks out that Picasso. We've had a text in from Sarah Jane. She's loving what you're doing, Lou. Here it is. She says, hello. And that is going to be stunning. I love everything, but that necklace is making me swoon. Sarah Jane is swooning. I thought you only swoon over swoony, swoony Clooney. She's swooning over the jewellery. That, that, it is a beautiful necklace, Sarah Jane, in all seriousness. And we've still got 50 minutes to go. Looks like she's completing it now, so there'll, there'll be more. There will be there more. Will. <laughs> now we've got a brand new kit coming up. Get ready for it. Whatever you do, make sure that code is written down. XRCR61 so that you don't miss it. Because when that Kambaba Jasper comes up, it's, you know, given the huge saving, you'll want to get that as well. And uh, we're going to go for our third new kit, which is awesome. <laughs> You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. This bead box consists of three strands of Dalmatian Jasper and three strands of Zebra Jasper, totaling over 1,000 carats, all for just $24.95. This nature-inspired bead box is perfect to add a touch of animal print to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code CPP032. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. New to Polymer Clay? Then why not come and join us on our Polymer Clay for Beginners course? Join guest designer Debbie Bulford as she guides you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, basic canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. You will get the chance to design and craft your own pieces which you can then take home. During the course of the day you will get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and have a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for just $64.95. For details of course dates and availability, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. I will bring you that Kambaba Jasper soon, so stay put with that and that fantastic manager special. And um, we've got some lovely Mystic Quartz as well. Half the stock of the manager special has been allocated. But I'm going to do the third new kit of the day, and then we'll come back and visit some of those extras that I've shown you we haven't had yet to uh, present. This is called Melodrama. Oh, the bells, the bells. Um, that's the famous melodramatic play, isn't it? I can't remember what it's called. I just remember in it, they go along in a, in a horse and cart and it's in, in the snow and it's like, the bells, the bells, keeps hearing the bells. Um, maybe it's called the bells. Uh, OK, let's do it. This is called Melodrama. And I love it because we've got a pendant in there as well. And we've got Howlite and we've got black rutile quartz and we've got the most beautiful, beautiful patterned um, agate, I believe. Look at those. Giraffe 
print agate. Zebra print. Well, it's the giraffe. Lovely rounds, isn't it? The beautiful sort of pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. Then next to that, we've got four millimetre rounds of beautiful howlite. That's 50 carats, 4.5 millimetre to be exact. And uh, 500 carats of the giraffe print agate that are 40 millimetre. Then next to that, we've got our black rutile faceted quartz nuggets that range from 10 to 16 millimetres, 200 carats. And then on top of it all, we've got a beautiful howlite pendant four centimeters across in diameter 110 carats isn't that fabulous do you remember our early bird special or the black onyx that i mean you could pop in that lovely puffy coin black onyx or those big slabs that we had as the early bird it ties in beautifully i did say that first thing here this morning the melodrama kit or i've also got some lovely mystic coated white quartz coming up as well which would work beautiful in this kit as well so just something to bear in mind melodrama now it comes to sterling silver and all the extras but let's just take a look at the components love this strand i love straight away you don't have to do much it's just beautiful it's a lovely glassy finish to it in terms of the, the look in terms of the shine and then the giraffe print on there isn't that beautiful isn't that gorgeous Makes me think of, what's that programme on a Sunday night? With uh, Stephen Tomlin Tom Tomlinson. And... Wild at Heart. Yes. Wild at Heart, is it called? They were on about the draft getting stuck in the swimming pool. Did you see that? Behind the scenes. A draft was pregnant and she'd gone into the swimming pool for, to cool down. But then she couldn't get out. They had to dig out the side of the pool for it to be able to step up and out. I don't know why, I just made me think of that giraffes. This is beautiful. This print is beautiful. 500 carats. It's very striking, isn't it? And then the Howlite, the gem of the sweet dreams and the insomniac. So I need plenty of this in my life. Uh, these are 4.5 millimetres. They look as though they're ivory white, but then you get these little silvery, you know we were talking about the turquoise earlier, those little silvery rivers that run through it. Wouldn't they look pretty as well? Do you remember the uh, map Jasper earlier that we had? I, I was talking about how I like then, I think. Wouldn't that look pretty with that map Jasper as well that we had? That was new today and we started talking about geocaching. We've got on, off on several tangents today, haven't we, Lou? <laughs> we really have. So these are the two strands in uh, today's new kit. And then we've also got a real beauty. I mean, you've got such special gemstones in this kit. Our black rutilated quartz, those quartz nuggets with strands of black rutiles, that metal that grows within the gemstone and literally is suspended. And, you know, you have to be careful when you cut it because obviously you don't want metal bits sticking out, but it's polished off and finished and cut really well. Isn't that gorgeous? Some are silver, some are black, some are white, some are speckled. It's got some real cracking statement strands. Actually, just any of these strands we don't tend to see individually anyway. I mean, I think we've only, I've only ever seen the, 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 the giraffe print once before. And I haven't seen it in this sort of, sort of the black and the white or whatever. And the Howard light occasionally crops up, not very often on its own, sometimes in a kit. And then the rutile quartz as well, not seen very often. So three very distinctive, very beautiful, precious strands there. And uh, the pendant, mustn't forget the pendant as well. You know, that's an added bonus that we don't tend to see a lot of. Four centimetres across, and there you can really see the intrinsic beauty of how I like with its patterns like a dream web. Isn't that lovely? Looks like the moon. Now we've got silver in the kit as well, which ties in beautifully with that sort of monochromatic and that silvery look. All the regular pieces, so new jewellery makers, we're saying when we put a kit together, we put in the gemstones and the silver findings and the components like the beading thread, the elastic and the gift bags for you to get started. So 10 of the head pins, 10 of the crimp beads, two pairs of the shepherd hooks, two bolt ring clasps with the jump rings. So everything you need to get you started. And you'll see the designs that Lou has made as well. Statement pieces. We've tried and tested, you know, often, more often than not, five, six pieces minimum, but that's going to increase as you get other pieces of the strands of the bundles on the show. So Melodrama, it's our new kit today. 24 pieces of 925 sterling silver as well. It's beautiful. 
Get it in your basket. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. We've got the addition of the pendant, a 50-carat pendant. That, that, it's that giraffe print for me, and the root, I love Rutal Quartz as well, because they're all so different and magical. Some lovely shapes, rounds, smaller rounds, the pendant, the irregular nuggets. All ties in beautifully, doesn't it? Melodrama. And I think the drama is in how dramatic each of those individual strands are. New today, and you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're watching and you're new to us and you've never bought from a shopping channel before, you know you've got the assurance of safe buying because you've got a money-back guarantee. People are allocating fast, so let's give you that fantastic new today price. Yeah, we've got a lot going on there. $27.95. You've got 860 carats. So $27.95, brand new today. It's working out roughly £9 a strand. And that's just without the pendant, without the silver. Now, can you imagine paying £9 for a beautiful strand like that? And all the black rutile quartz. You probably pay more for those individually. And probably, you know, nine then for the for the Hauer light there. How much would you pay for the single 40 carat, 50 carat? Sorry, 110 carat, because it's four centimeters, 40 millimeters. 110 carat pendant. So when you add up the individual strands and you know the components separately, and, and then even for one of our basic silver findings packs. You know, how much, 12, 13 pounds, how much are you going to pay for that? You've already got that in the kit. You've got the beading thread. When we sell that separately, that's 3 95 You've got the elastic. You've got the organza gift bags in there as well. So when we put a kit together, it's a hobby that's ready to be up and running, started, and regulars know to invest in the kits because they know the value is built into the savings of having it all bought together like that because they'll use either them all together or start to use them separately. Now, Lou's had to go along the lines of using them all together because that's the restriction we give her as a guest designer. But for you, there's no restrictions. The only fact is I've only got limited availability. I've only, well, I say limited, I've only got so much, and once it's allocated, that is it. And I am already down to double figures in this kit. So please, 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 we know the black and the white is always very popular. It's always a winner, it's always a bestseller on the show. And I just, there's distinctiveness, the distinctiveness and the distinctive beauty of those strands. They stand alone separately. They're cracking strands on their own. They really are, but to have all three together is a real magical kit, a real Billy bonus, if you like, plus my beautiful pendant. Right, let's have a rundown of everything you're getting. Let's go and visit Louise, and then I'll be showing you some extras like the Mystic Quartz that you can get. I've got another bundle I want to fit in, and I did promise the Kambaba Jasper because it looks so good with the manager special. So this is everything you're getting today for $27.95. Now, Lou, you've gone down a very dramatic look yeah. for both pieces. Because they <laughs> work so well, pieces, yeah. yeah. It's not about the quantity here, it's about the impact, isn't yes, it? Yes, definitely the impact. Beautiful. Talk me through them. Um, well, we've got, um, it, they're both based on the quadrant weave. So for people who are, are even new to jewellery making, this is really simple. So you can do it, just take it the next step. Um, and it, it's similar to what um, Bella said yesterday, actually. Mm. It's, it's based on, on mathematics. <laughs> so you've got, oh, okay. you work out the different sizes of the beads and you work out, like on that, the necklace is, is designed to curve around the neck. Uh -huh. So it sits, it sits quite snugly um, around the neckline and, the and, and sits line, properly yeah. um, because of the way you've actually done those. Um, and then, you know, counting the beads to get them to curve around the, the things to create the scalloped look as well. Beautiful. But it's relatively straightforward. It's just a, you get a bit of a play at the beginning and then you just follow the pattern. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And is that something you, you can show us? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> Um, for the no, necklace. I no. can't. I refuse. <laughs> Point blank. Right. End of the show. Bye. <laughs> yeah. I started with the pendant in the middle of the necklace um, because I, you know, wanted it to be a feature. But equally, that could be the middle of the br middle of a bracelet, like a watch-style mm, bracelet. Yeah. So you could do that with um, a kind of a stranded thing on either side. So it would work for that. It's not too heavy. Mm. Um, so you could do it for that. And I've got two pieces of um, jewellery thread <coughs> Sorry. through, quite long because you're going to have to do the whole necklace with it. Mm -hmm. um, longer than I've cut, but purely for the demonstration. And then what you do is pass the, the thread through the big beads, one through from the left, one through from the right, okay. and then you're going to pull. And this is the only one you really need to be careful on because as you pull at the beginning, you're going to pull from the other side because they are just stranded through. 
But so how, why have you created the loopy loop, the figure of eight in the middle? Literally to start anchoring it. So both of them have got beads through from the left. Oh, I didn't see so you've it. Got one through so from you've got there. two strands gone through the middle. Yeah. One's gone and then, through and, and then up, opposite and direction. Right. And then when you pull gotcha. it, at first you see that it started yes, pulling in as yeah, well. So but once you've got those two there, mm -hmm. they're anchored in place. Yeah. So then you're going to start doing the pan. So the top of the necklace, I'm going to do it that way so you can see it, um, is actually three of the little white beads. If I thread those on very quickly. Literally just stranding them on. Let those fall down to there. Mm -hmm. um, you've got that shape there. And if I just double check which way around it is. Yep. And then you're going to go through the big one again. So that basically forms that bit of the necklace, ah, the top yeah. bit. So you've got that scalloped bit there. Mm -hmm. The bottom bit, you're going to put one of the Quartz is the root or quartz. Thought it was. I'm starting. I'm starting to get better. I must come on one of the gem experiences you because must. that would be brilliant. You just got to sit with me and Scotty, and you'll be away. That's all right. I was talking to Scott while he was washing cups like last week. <laughs> yes, <So. laughs> I wasn't very well. I, I managed to make it in for the Thursday and oh. finally be able, to be able to speak. So it does help if you yeah, can speak because yeah, yeah. <laughs> able to talk. Things. Um, Six very nice ladies with me. It's lovely. Five in the end. Yeah. And what I did was worked out that roughly five would create a scallop around this gem. So I've threaded the rutile quartz on and then straight away I'm going to thread on five of these little tiny white ones. And what I'm going to do is go back through the rutile quartz in the same way as you've gone the first time. So you're creating a loop. So this is the same as I've done when on the bracelet that I've done on the challenge today. Okay. Um, so you thread the beads on and then actually so what I did with the seed beads mm -hmm. and then that sits at the side uh -huh. and then with this strand you're then going to follow the pattern the big bead we put on into the top of your bracelet push it from yeah. the opposite direction and then when you pull that the pattern then starts to, ah, to form. take formation yeah so oh, you're going to just repeat that so on the bottom you're going to put rutile quartz and the five howlites. of the howlites on the top you're going to put three of the howlites and back through a big bead to keep the pattern Secure. Beautiful. On the bracelet, the only difference is I've done um, rutile quartz on both sides. Yes, and I can then see that. to keep it straight. And then in every other one, I've done the scalloped yes. bit, so you get the wave effect. Yes, it's but it's exactly the same quadrant weave with the extra loop, and just getting the the kind of mathematics because three of those curved round is slightly less than the, root, the length of the rutile. So that will naturally then start to curve round. Ah, there we go. I would never have known that. Yes. You, if I take this off here, yes. you can see it. Because I know sometimes it people just, go, it look, it's because it's sat on there, but actually yeah, you can see. I can. Yes. It does curve round. Just naturally curves. Yes, because of the. It's pulling it in because it's. Well, you've it's got, a wider, less, got a wider circumference to yeah, go, so it does bottom. need to be more, yeah. hence the smaller one will start yeah. to curve. Isn't that beautiful? Well, thank you very much. That's it's proving right. very popular mm -hmm. because the gems are so dynamic, aren't no, they're they? They're beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. amazing. I wore that a few times. I'm going to be quite sad well, guess to part what we've with got it. on. I know. We've got off this. <laughs> I think you should take it away. With it. I think you should take it away, darling. It looks lovely what you're wearing. Um, we're, we're giving everything else away that you make today, so you should keep something for yourself, quite frankly. Um, we are going to look to the Wall of Fame and we're going to find out who the runner up is. And then I'm going to come back and launch Combat with Jasper and another bundle, so don't go anywhere. Take it away, Lou. And we've got number 181 here, and this is from Nicola in Belfast. Uh, it's been a while since I made anything, um, but Mark's inspired us to make these earrings oh. and bracelets. Um, it was an idea I had for a while, just not put into action. I'm really pleased with the results. Uh, it's made with garnet and pearls. He's uh, the chip king, isn't he, Mark? I love <laughs> yes, yeah. garnet. We'll have to see him Absolutely, again. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and she's really looking forward to Lucy being in the designer corner. I know, and I'm <laughs> going to be presenting. So, is it Saturday? Saturday. Uh, the 18th of February, I think it is. I think. Did I get that right? I don't know. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> I think it is. Oh, no, hold on a minute. No, 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 that's all a load of rubbish. Uh, it's, uh, no, it's not. It's the 5th of February, so I think that's Saturday, isn't it? We're the 1st. Is there, is that Sunday? No, it's Sunday. <laughs> oh, we'll get there in the end. Um, is it the 5th? Is it she in Designer Corner on the 5th? Anyway, we'll sort it out. I think it is. We'll put it on the Facebook. I'm sure she is. Um, because I said I present, so she's going to be designing the fifth. I think it's the fifth. Sunday. Yes, we got there. Uh, right, this is Emily from Harborn. Big hello to everybody. And it's a three piece uh, set with agate rounds from the extravagant jewellery kit along Amethyst. Hope you all like it. She loves the new studio and the graphics. We love it. Beautiful jewellery there. And good luck, Emily from Harborn. And Emily, you're number 182. And number 183 here, this is Ros in Durham. And this is Hi to All at JM. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I hope you like it. It's made with the Chinese, uh, red Chinese jade from the six strand box. Loving the show and keep up the good work. That's beautiful. Brilliant, really beautiful. brilliant wire work at the end. And uh, one more. This is Anita in Middlesbrough, number 184. And it's a carnelian a sardonyx necklace from a six strand box. So we simply don't judge or make any choices. You can see there's a raffle ticket attached. And we're now going to pluck the runner up out of the hat. So. Rest assured, it is just simply about sending your entry either via post or email. And we're going to do the runner-up. Um, well, should we find out who the winner is? Yeah, let's do them both. <laughs> runner-up first, please, Lou. I'm not looking. <laughs> Get one. Okay. And it's number 134. Number 134. Well, it's not on our board, so it'll be one that we had before. Mandy, congratulations. We'll try and get your email uh, plucked out of our box. Your number 134. Mandy, you are the runner up with £50 worth of jewellery credit to spend with us here at Jewellery Maker. That means our winner next will win £100 worth of credit. And this happens <laughs> every Wednesday. So get your entries in before Tuesday, 1 o'clock, the day before the prize draw. And uh, you'll be included. Otherwise, it goes into the week after. We've got Mandy. Number Runner up. 28. 28 <laughs> is the winner with £100 worth of Jewellery Maker credit. And 28 is Sharon. Davis, not the Sharon Davis, the swimmer. It might be. It might Who be. Knows? Might. She might be in a bit of a jewelry <laughs> making now. So Sharon, number twenty-eight, is the winner with a hundred pounds worth of jewelry maker credit, and Mandy, the runner-up, with fifty pounds worth of jewelry maker credit to spend and enjoy with us here at JM. Well done, ladies. We'll get those emails sorted. I'm going to go and uh, do some kebab, Jasper, and a bundle. Don't go anywhere. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jewelry making. This bead box consists of six strands of genuine pearls, including bronze, peach, pink, and white pearls, all for just $34.95. Bring a touch of class to your designs. To get your hands on this great offer, phone our call centre now on 0800 644 655 and quote the code ETMG80. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Want to learn more about silver clay? Then why not come and join us on our silver clay course? Join professional art clay instructor Natalia Coleman as she guides you through the techniques of handling, shaping, forming and firing silver clay. Then you'll be given the chance to design and create your own jewellery, which you can take home. During the course of the day you'll get to have a backstage tour of the studios, meet the presenters and take a trip to our jewellery shop. The full course includes 20 grams of art clay, use of all relevant tools, buffet style lunch and refreshments, all for £89. For details on course dates and availability, contact our call centre now on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewellery Maker.
At Jewellery Maker, we specialise in supplying natural gemstones as opposed to mass-produced synthetic beads. As a result, you'll notice some slight variations in the tone, colour saturation and shape of your stones. All this helps to add to the beauty and character of each individual bead, allowing you to create unique and bespoke jewellery designs. Now, I had it out earlier with that six-strand bundle manager special that you got, and I thought it tied in beautifully. So let me show you it again. It's the Kambaba Jasper. It's brand new today. Here it is. That was the six-strand bundle that you got earlier. And uh, if you missed that, make sure you don't on the repeat. Then the, doesn't the Kambaba tie in so beautifully with the Picasso? Just looks fantastic. So let's launch it now. It's named after, well, Kambaba. It's moss, Jasper, basically. It's like the moss itself that literally becomes petrified, as it were, like the way in which wood does and becomes this beautiful jasper. So you get these wonderful patterns in there, like moss green, like moss fern, lighter and darker bottle green colours. And these are pretty, pretty. And the reason I thought it looked lovely in the shapes as well that we had in the, in the six-strand bundle was this is another different shape. It's the bar it's like the flattened rondelles, isn't it? Because they've kind of got this flattened, faceted top and bottom. And then this lovely roundness to it beautiful and it looks so good against those hot sienna reds and sunny colors and i thought just tied in so beautifully with that picasso you know thought that really looked good in terms of matching or you know bringing bringing colors and hues and shapes together in your jewelry making so we had a massive saving on the bundle so let's put that saving towards something new today and then i've got a few more pieces um i was lamenting uh missing out on a wood bundle Looks like somebody's come up trumps. So let's do it. Get that uh, graphic on there as well, because I do want to remind everybody of the Mystic Quartz. I'll fit it all in before we visit Lou. Dark bottle greens, those beautiful light greens, those beautiful patterns, mottled patterns in there as well. Think of moss, think of fern, think of leprechauns in the, in the glen. That's what it looks like. Beautiful, rich colours. Um, dark greens, lighter greens. Moss Fern Greens. That's what I think when I see Kambaba Jasper or the other name for it. Um, your Moss Jasper. Your Crocodile. It's like Crocodilite, isn't it? There's your uh, graphics. 12 by 8 millimeter. Now we had a £20 saving in that six strand of the bundle at Manager Special. So, I mean, it's just asking you to add to your order and it's a mere 7 95 Do you have a um, carrot weight on it, honey? Under £10. Well under, well under £8. Beautiful. You'd look nice with those reds of the uh, morning starlight kit, was it? So, shooting star kit this morning. You know, those red Chinese jades. That would look beautiful with it as well. And for 7 95 big gemstones there, 12 by 8 millimetres. Lovely shades. I mean, it's not just all one shade, is it? You really see the light to the dark of the tones there of the Jasper. And just perfect with that Picasso. Perfect with those sunset reds and beautiful uh, sunrise colours. So there you go. 7 95 Absolute bargain. And I've got some beautiful wood coming up in a moment. Another wood bundle that I missed out on. Mystic Quartz. Have you got the code? I hope so. Have you got the code for that Kambaba Jasper? Because I'm going to move it on now. There's the code HDTA69. I am down to double. Let me show it again with the bundle because it works so well with the bundle. Not that you have to have that. If you've managed to get that manager special and there was such a saving, let me just show you again how it tied in so beautifully with it and of course the nice thing is you've got a 30 day money back guarantee so you can get that bundle and see for yourself actually does it does it work like fee said do i agree do you agree i think so i think effortless there isn't it colors just really tight it ties it draws across that picasso jasper in the two different sizes there and it just breaks up those really sunny reds and golds and oranges and it's 7 95 and we saved ourselves 20 pounds on the bundle, so let's do it. 30 day money back guarantee. Beautiful. Now, 
Mystic Quartz. And then I'm going to do two bundles. Now, we have seen it before, but it does sell like hotcakes. And we haven't seen any on the show today. And there's like bubble colours of disco light. You've got to have a really ice white quartz to begin with. And then we've got pinks and violets and yellows and blues. And they glow. It's one of the prettiest gems. You can just see it almost change colour before your eyes. From the red to the green to the violet to the pink. Double figures now of the Mystic Quartz. Lovely for the bridal jewellery, lovely for that, uh, to give that effervescence to the evening jewellery. 7 95 absolute steal. 275 carats, absolute steal. Yeah, you see so much more colour than we're garnering there on the light box there. 7 95 Yeah, beautiful. All right, let's do another bundle. Hopefully we've got that code written down. Good luck, everybody. Now, and then I'm going to do a wood bundle because I've missed out on a wood bundle. It's a live show, so let's do it. Now, this is beautiful because there's a lot in today's show, like the melodrama kit um, that we can tie in with this. We've got um, Onyx agate smoky quartz frosted and polished and chinese jade and if you are there for that mystic quartz stay there it's still available i can see about at least 10 of you there waiting for the mystic quartz you will be successful just because you rang now i can say that in the live show so please hang fire and stay with me on that this is such a lovely shape and set of colors isn't it smoky bargain bundle including your smoky quartz in your faceted frosted rounds and teardrop polished facets you've got your botswana agate yeah next to those droplets you've got your sorry i think i said agate you've got your black um tourmaline and your black onyx the onyx is the parcel octagons and the tourmaline is the big rounds i think are those rounds 12 millimeters darling or 10. the tourmaline yeah and then the Chinese jade, they're 12. And then your Chinese jade is 14. I'll put that over my hand because the Chinese jade is blending in with the back of the background. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Thinking of the melodrama kit. I love the Botswana agate anyway. So, and it works so good with smoky quartz in both the frosted and the droplet. So, you know, we've had kits today that should have been 29.95 or, or 27.95. You know, six strand bundle like this. We've got a lot of gem quality. I mean, this is all entirely tourmaline as well. So, 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 so beautiful and rare. Black onyx, Botswana agate, smoky quartz, fabulous quality there. Chinese jade and big 14 millimeter rounds. We've got a lot to play with here. A lot of exceptional gemstone jewelry here. And I've got a fantastic um, o round strand in a minute that I'm going to tie in with this. I gave you caramel goals and I just thought it looked beautiful with it. Another shape to play with there. I'm mm, going to do that in a moment. Now my Botswana agate. If you have a little look, look at those colours, gold and white. So my Botswana agates, you know, £10 at least because this is one of the most beautiful of gemstones. These are six millimetre faceted rounds. Oh, this is the six, aren't they, darling? Yeah. Look at those colours. Ties in beautifully with the tourmaline and the smoky quartz there. And if you're still on the phone for the mystic quartz, look at the banding there. Look at that carefully drawn banding. Beautiful. Please stay on the line for that mystic quartz if you're waiting. We know you're waiting. It's a free phone number and we get into those calls as quick as we can because it proved very popular. No wonder it's 7.95. Even actually, six strands at 7.95 is 48 pounds. Now, the quality of that Botswana agate should not be 7.95. Neither should the smoky quartz. So this is not even going to be 48 pounds for six strands. So even at 7.95, which is a great price at under 10 pounds, we're not staying as low as that for six times that in this kit, this bundle. Because look at the quality of those smoky quartz. It's absolutely flawless, isn't it? Beautiful. And then the contrast 
with the frosted as well. You can see the difference. People are adding this to their basket fast. It's no, doesn't, you know, it's no wonder. Got a fantastic wood bundle after this. Black onyx. Oh, 32.95. So even, look at that black tourmaline. Even if we were going at eight pounds a strand, which we wouldn't, but even if we were, 48 pounds, you're at 32.95. And they make, how much is the saving, darling, if we were to sell them separately so we can tell the callers? 47 pounds 70 should be the asking price if we separate up these beautiful strands and sell them separately. That black tourmaline strand alone should be 15 pounds as far as I'm concerned. That's black tourmaline. October's birthstone, beautiful, uh, beautiful gem. You know, that's rarer than your lovely onyx and your agates. And look at the size of it, 12 millimeter. So at 14 pounds 75 saving. So we can put that towards our lovely caramel coffee ovals that I'm going to do in a moment because they just yeah our coffee agate because I think that ties in so beautifully it's a lovely shape as well with our bundle we've made like our nearly 15 pounds saving proving very popular everybody loves a bundle don't stop, don't blame you a bundle have you ever been bundled <laughs> like a pylon everybody just piles on you bundle you just get loads of people jumping on you Scott got bundled at the weekend. I wasn't, I didn't do it, I, I missed it, but yeah, he got bundled. Just a giant pile on. <laughs> he made it out alive. Uh, 32.95, you know, like I said, a saving of 14 pounds, 75 pence. Gorgeous, the code is LAC, L-A-C-R 55. Should we do the coffee agate? Let me just put that coffee agate with it. So I think that's beautiful, really beautiful. Look how it ties in with those gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Yeah, beautiful. So we can keep our blacks, you know, for another time and that lovely white. Let's just stay with the coffee colours and those browns. Beautiful, isn't it? So we've made a massive saving on that cracking bundle and let's have our coffee coloured coins. Look at these, the colours of them from caramel gold to cappuccino to uh, cafe latte colours. Do you like a nice cafe latte? Do you like a nice coffee or a cappuccino or a hot chocolate or a... Hot chocolate. You're a hot chocolate girl, you're not a coffee girl. No. I'm a tea girl, but every now and again, nice cup of coffee, <laughs> a latte, milky. Love these patterns. Some are plain, some are speckled, some are dark, chocolate. Ooh, some are sort of banded like the horizon. Just another different shape to play with, with those rounds and those Botswanas. I mean, again, let me just put it in kind of some kind of situation for you so you can see how well they work. Really beautiful. If you got that bundle a moment ago, really beautiful. Isn't that lovely? So a great addition, especially the savings with it. You know, you can always send it back with that 30-day money-back guarantee if you don't think it works. All right, let's do it because I'm desperate to fit in the wood bundle before we go and see Louise. Let's try to fit it all in. And don't forget, coffee agate puffy coins coming on your screen now. You've done well today, jam-packed loads in. Uh, 80 of these now remaining, so limited stock. And that's why it's only 10.95 for you today. We made well over, nearly, nearly 15 pounds saving on the bundle. So let's get ourselves another strand. We made the saving. Gorgeous colours. Lovely shape. You just want to touch them and feel them. They are... Does it have the size there? Two and a half centimetres, yeah. They feel beautiful. Ten ninety-five. And talking of bundles, don't forget, a few more left. I think we're down to 50 now of our... It was the last 100, 50% of the stock's been allocated of our £5 bundles of the magic jamboree of gemstones and we don't know when we'll be getting those back in so jam fact full of, i mean i'm guesstimating about 100 uh, about 100 gems there are different types for you to look at and the bottom graphic there gives you that code 495 add it to your order i've got i think i've got 40 left of those now in stock which is crazy for the amount you know that we started with so well done to you now wood bundles it's louise's fault she's rattling on to me about wood bundles that i've missed 
So a wooden bundle, a wooden, I can't speak. A wooden bundle has appeared. Bundle! There's only me bundling, isn't there? Um, look at these, it's gonna tie in so beautiful with our coffee agate. Oh, look at that wooden goodness. Beautiful. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And then, oh, I love it in the white, the cream. It's like ivory cream. They feel so beautiful to the touch. And then we've got the dark green, the caterpillar green. It's like the hungry caterpillar. We ate too much, isn't it? Then we've got the white in, like the cones, the white in the rice beads and then the barrel. So again, as Luce quite rightly pointed out earlier, great for the unisex jewellery. Now the barrels are actually more of a sort of a, a terracotta redwood colour. So this is a six strand wooden bundle. We've got the little flattened barrels, the rice bead shape, the big rounds. Are they about 20 millimetres, darling? Hazelnut colour. And then you've got the rounds there, they're about 10. And I think these are the same. I think these are, uh, are these 18. They look more polished. The Hungry Caterpillar Greens. They're 20 as well. Okay, they're both 20. My wooden bundle. And then you've got the cones. Rice beads, cones, rounds. Now this ties in beautifully with the Botswana agate. The smoky quartz we've just had. Oh. Because I missed out on my wooden bundle earlier on, I love. I just love the feel of the wood. It's so light. It's, it just looks great. It looks so dramatic. Just slipping a little gem in between there. Beautiful. Oh, you what? Get on that phone right now. He's just told me what he's going to do. Please don't miss out. For six strands on the wooden bundle. No wonder I missed out. They flew out. Think of some of those lovely green gems that uh, Lou is working with today on Sarah Jane's uh, Chosen by You Challenge. This is silly. If you're not already on the phone, get logged in on that web. Promise me you'll do this because this is just sensational. 10.95 for six strands and lovely shapes there as well. Under 11 pounds. Try it out if you've never worked with the wood before. No wonder you got the wooden bundles, Lou. Beautiful, I can't yeah. believe I missed them. That's rubbish. Just goes to show you, so don't miss this. Because I'm lamenting the fact that it was a couple of weeks ago, Lou says, I've missed them. And the wood, it's in, it's out, it's on, it's gone. Please, please, please don't miss out. Look at those colours, those shapes. It's going to tie in with the Botswana, or the smoky quartz. Could you pass me that mash and green jade there, darling? Sorry to disturb you. I know you're working with the sea beads. And, I mean, just look at this. If you want to tie it in, there we go. Look at the colours there. And your, and your lovely smoky quartz and your Botswana. Bit of the mash and jade there that Lou's working with today. Isn't that beautiful? About a 60 second way on that phone line, so whatever you do, add, add, add to your order because um, I missed out those other wooden bundles that Lou's talking about, sold out in a heartbeat. Don't want to miss out on this. Got this in for you specially because I was having a bemoan. Scott went off and sorted it out for me. And at 10.95, it's not even two pounds a strand. These are gorgeous. Just pop. If you were to buy each of these individually, it'd be about 32 pounds. So there's your saving of 21 pounds. Just put the little white ones in between the big brown ones, the hazelnuts. It's like, it's like hazelnuts with yogurt of peanuts. Back to the sweets and food again. Love them. Just strand them on stretchies for that price. They just feel and look gorgeous. I'd just be putting one of those in between. Maybe a little gemstone, a smoky quartz. Oh, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but don't take my word for it. You know, you've got nothing to lose by adding that to your order. And um, yes, you've got nothing to lose by simply adding this to your order, exploring the wealth of beauty that's in the world. I like the way the green ones are polished as well. Alrighty, you've got that code. And if you haven't, get it written down and get dialing NDCR11. I'm coming down to limited stock. Good luck on the repeats, everybody. Well done to you for watching today. That is spectacular. Let's go with the wood bit. I'm not letting go of those again. I'm not going to see those again. They're going to go. They are going to go. Aren't they going to go? That's the last we see of those. Until we get some more. They're going in Fifi's store. They are. I'm not going to get those again. How's the challenge going with Sarah Jane's? It's good. Um, Chosen by you. <laughs> I finished the necklace. I've 
made a ring. A ring? <laughs> I've just finished that. And oh, I'm well done. So I said, make her a ring, make her a ring. So was your signature, make her a ring. It is really. And you're just about to so finish a necklace. So. Yeah, so Actually, I'm if you show me the ring, darling. Yeah. It's exactly in the style of what I've been wearing today, but with the amethyst and the fluorite. Beautiful choice. Loving it. That was the one from today's earlier kit. Beautiful. Um, so that was the ring. You've completed the lovely illusion yeah. necklace. Gorgeous. Let me put that down because this is all going to okay. Sarah Jane. Isn't that fabulous, Sarah Jane? And I can see that you're going to finish with a necklace of yeah. fluorite and the Chinese jade. Yes. So can we hold it up just to see the yeah. start? Because I know we won't get it done by the end of the show. <laughs> but, but I will finish, I she, promise. She'll linger about. She's hard worker. <laughs> we won't really leave, quite frankly. Isn't that beautiful? So, one, two, three, four, five, six beautiful pieces of jewellery winging their way to you, Sarah Jane, and enjoy with our compliments in Andover. Gorgeous. Now, we found the winner and the runner-up. That was our runner-up. This is number 134. This was... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Was it Amanda? Well, Mandy, yeah. Mandy, that's it. That's why I didn't twig. I was thinking, I'm sure her name was an Am <laughs> Mandy. Uh, Mandy, that was your design there. Beautiful wire work there. Mm. Is it, it's like a butterfly. butterfly. Yeah. yeah, with turquoise. Like gorgeous. Yeah. And then the winner was Sharon Davis. No, We're still trying work. to work out she's the swimmer. <laughs> I know, wire work galore. Isn't that beautiful? I must have wow. been drawn to the wire work with exactly. my first class being next week. <laughs> exactly, yes. You can book in for Louise's wire work uh, workshops, as in you can with the sculpy clay. We do the silver clay and the beading. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got your first one next week yep. and you're jam packed, but solid. Yeah. We've still got our, um, we do our Rocks Academy. We're going to get you on that as well, aren't we? Scott and I run that once a mm. month as well. So lots to be had. So well done. You've won £100 worth of Jewelry Maker credit here, Sharon. And well done, our runner-up. So get those entries in before 1 o'clock next Tuesday and be in the prize draw for next Because it happens every Wednesday. Any favourites today? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the amethyst, beautiful, just offsetting the, the oh, sparkly yes. with, the, um, with the mat, The beautiful actually. amethyst, yeah. yes. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice, Jane, Sarah Jane there. So if you want to watch that on the repeat, it was a 20 minutes into the repeat, we'll bring up the codes for those beautiful amethysts, the frosted and the bicones. I'll try and get those codes up for you anyway. Two favourites of our, our Louise, you've got similar taste to Sarah Jane's there, mm. with the fluorite, it really worked. Definitely for me, bundles, bundles all yeah. around, quite frankly. Fab value. I, fab value, yeah. <laughs> the wood bundle, seriously, I'm, I'm going off with that. No one's going to see that again. That's fantastic. And I love the smoky quartz with the Botswana, that bundle, and the manager special. Well, set me alight. So that is the, uh, there you go, both of them on the screen there. Well, thank you. Oh, the wood bundle down to the last 60. <gasps> Quick, because you can get to that call centre. <laughs> um, I'd like to say thank you to Lou for all the hard work. That's okay. We'll see you next week for your I'll wire probably, work. I'll probably be popping on screen with me group. There you go, come and say hello. I'll be with you tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have a fabulous jam-packed Thursday. Lots of surprises. Really gonna pack it full. So you know as much as I like to talk, I'm gonna have to shush up and just get on with it. A few of those little uh, bundles for 4.95 left. Enjoy the show and goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. You can watch Duramaker live every day from 9 till 1 on Sky 655, Virgin 756 or Freesat 807. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewelry Maker account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, Coloured Rocks Limited, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Good luck and happy jury making. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. 
with round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewellery Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. The early bird catches the worm. Don't miss out on your chance to grab our amazing early bird offers at 9am on weekday mornings. Catch them while you can. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Do you want to be a part of Jewelry Maker? Do you think your creativity can help inspire others? Then why not get involved and send us your ideas? All you have to do is go to our website or use our catalog and select up to 10 components. We will then get one of our guest designers to make up the jewelry from the products you have selected. Send your suggestions to chosenbyyou at jewelrymaker.com and we'll do the rest. If your ideas are selected, we'll send the made-up jewelry to you.